And we're live. Welcome to another episode of Watch Talk with the Punters. My name is Blue Shirt, and I'm joined by my co-hosts, Thomas Burnett and NS Something. Hi, guys. Welcome, everyone, to our new uh, Saturday schedule. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everyone. I uh, just want to say hello to uh, friends in the chat. We've got uh, our good friend, Geezer. Uh, Hans Knees and Toes, what's up, Hansi? Tennessee Mike, Brent, uh, Andrew, Eric B, Wilson, our good friend Junior Johnson, uh, James Arthur is in the chat. Good to see you. Um, who else here? Dodger, Brent, uh, Curtis, um, Watch Habit, and B Dev. Uh, underachieving watch collector. Uh, always good to see all you guys. Um, Curtis and Nefarian uh, was actually first. Um, welcome everybody. Yeah, as Tom was was saying to our new uh, our new time slot, uh, we'll be broadcasting uh, when uh, ID guy is not on at this time. Um, so not to uh, conflict with him. Um, a um and um what else was i going to say uh today we're going to be talking all about two-tone watches which is um something that thomas and i are uh, very uh um passionate about um and uh thomas's uh, thomas promises me that there's something that i'm going to really like uh at, towards the end of the uh, of the presentation <laughs> you should know what that is to, uh punters Yes, yeah, you guys can take a wild guess as, as to what that is. There's, there's, um, a little, there's a little picture on Blue Shirt's avatar that may give it away. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, uh, Orange Hand and uh, Amon? Uh, welcome. Uh, good to see you guys. Yeah, great to see everyone in the chat. Yeah. Great to see you all, as always. Um, all right, uh, shall we kick off uh, with some news? Yeah, I cobbled together a little bit of news myself, and uh, we're going to kick off with uh, the release that everyone knows about this week. It's a Tude Black Bay Ceramic after releasing the Gold and Silver 58, Black Bay 58 to Watches and Wonder Geneva. Tude has now released Black Bay Ceramic. This is the brand's first dive watch with a ceramic case, but more significantly, it's Tude's first watch to obtain Meta certification making it a master chronometer. After Tudor announced a, a partnership with the French Navy, or Marine National as it goes by the name of, people were eagerly anticipating possibly a reissue of the uh, Tudor Submariner, with probably a blue dial for the Marine National colours, and square indices like the Tudor Subs of old and the uh, Pelagos. Tudor already had a ceramic case chrono in the lineup, which is the Fast, pack, right, fast Rider Black Shield, uh, they did a ceramic Black Bay for only Watch uh, 2019, which sold for um, 350,000 Swiss francs for the charity auction. So a person that bought that will be a bit annoyed when when they uh, see this one retailing for $4,725, four, $4, uh, which is good value considering comparable Meta certification watch from a... Uh, Omega probably starts about $8,000. Exactly. Uh, like, like, like the two recent precious metal Black Bay 58s, the ceramic model has an open case back. Its movement has been dressed up to match the case, and uh, the dial equipped with bridges have been uh, have a relief grid pattern finished in the alternating grained and frosted surfaces. And the movement, similar to the one found in the Black Bay bronze, which are produced by Canisi, I think, and uh, mm. tested by the official Swiss Chronometer Testing Institute, better known as COSC. But Tudor have now gone one better and had the new movement certified by the Swiss Federal Institute of Meteorology, or METAS. And unlike COSC testing, which only examines uh, uncased movements, METAS tests the entire watch and focuses on a maximum daily range of deviation of five seconds in six positions, two temperatures, two levels of power reserve, and uh, resistance to magnetic fields of 15,000 Gauss. 
So the method certification has replaced the depth rating on the uh, watch's dial. They've actually taken off the uh, um, depth rating, which says uh, 3,000 meters, I think, or 300 right. meters, and replaced it with master chrono chrono chronograph. So that was that's the uh, Tudor Black Bay ceramic. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to, yeah. as I um, mentioned on, uh, I think it was on JB, uh, JCB's uh, stream earlier in the week, um, Teeter um, out Omega to Omega with this watch, um, being meta certified, um, wall ceramic, it's half the price of, uh, uh, of a ceramic Omega, um, great bang per buck. A good, a good looking watch, um, and I, I, I see nothing but good things about this uh, this release. Yeah, I I think they um, it, they really took a page out of Omega's book, right? Um, mm -hmm. First for the certification, met us, right? I, I think that's a big it's a big thing. Um, yeah. Uh, n not necessarily because you know there's always been this argument Rolex versus uh, Omega in the last few years, right? While well, Workhorse were like met us, you know, whatever the the fanboys always argue about that. Um, so it, it, it's a big deal, I I think, because um, it shows that they're they're willing to do something different, right? Um, maybe admit that there's something better out there, um, but also it's it's not just another color not just ceramic I, I think one of the things that omega does very well with special editions even though i know a lot of people don't like them but um they make it special top to bottom right like the movement right. will be a different color different finish there's something right it's not just another color in this exact same watch i think mm -hmm. this time they did something um because in the past they didn't necessarily do that even tudor right like a bronze or um all the colors it was always the same the exact same watch right same movement same finishing same everything i think this is a it's a winner the the movement looks nice for mm -hmm. for the price i i think anybody that says it's not finished well or you know not hand finished or whatever really needs to look at the fact that this is a ceramic watch for that's meta certified for like forty three hundred dollars. Um, it, it's I, I think this is a home run. I um, I I don't know what somebody would have against that watch. It's it's a really cool watch. Yeah, I, I mean it. Uh, you know, uh, it's it, it's good looking. It, it's price competitive. Um, and to all the uh, you know the Rolex slash um, Tudor haters out there, uh, you know that always complain that oh you know Rolex never uh, they never uh, get their movements certified by a, a third party. Well, here you go, boys. They they just did it. So yeah. Um. And. Uh, you know, I, I I I can see more good things coming down the road from uh, fr from Tudor, and we got our friend Neo with us. Neo, what's up, man? Hello, humanity. Neo, hey, Neo. Hello, humanity. How are you doing, my friend? Doing well. I just uh, finished watching the Champions League final. There you, you go. Won. Chelsea. Oh, they didn't, did they? Really? Yeah. They beat Man City. Oh, Pep Guardiola will be crying again. Yeah, he needs to be fired. That was his fault. So we're just talking about the ceramic uh, Tudor Neo, um, the, the the all black one with the Meta certified movement. Um, did you have any thoughts on this one? I'm I'm not a huge fan of the Samariner design. Um, I you know I'm just kind of there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't excite me. But this mm -hmm. watch excites me. I think this is an awesome release. I like. I, I wish I could like it more. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, you know, it it it's it's a good looking watch, and uh, oh, I think it's great. Like I yeah. think 
if anyone uh, likes this design, if they were thinking about getting a, a black bay, if they're looking for a dive, like get this one. This is the best one. Yeah, no, and Shan points out in, an interesting point about the uh, bezel, which has you can't. They haven't indicated the numerals or the batons on it very well. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you're, you're absolutely right, Orange Chan. It's a, it's a great point. Um, it would look good with the same color loom, um, as the rest of the watch. Uh, but you know, maybe they can. Uh, come up with another variation at some point um, oh uh, i i'm <laughs> knowing knowing tutor I'm, I'm i'm sure they will uh come out with some other kind of uh iteration of, of this watch yeah whatever the 58 version of ceramic is like <laughs> there you go yeah no but it's look it's it's a great watch and um i i think i'd i'd encourage anybody that's trying really, really hard not to like it or whatever to always consider the price too, right? I think it's it's a lot of watch for that money, I think. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. So move on to the next uh, news item, which is the Seiko 62 Mass and Turtle Reinterpretations in the... Uh, 2020 marked 55 years since Seiko first launched a dive watch in 1965 with the 62 mass reference 6217 and the 50 years since the launch of the turtle reference uh, 6105. Now in 2021, a year on, Seiko's come out with some more remakes called the Divers Modern Reinterpretations of the 62 mass and the turtle which are both powered by uh, mid-range 6R35 movements, which keep them affordable. The uh, main difference in these two models from the other reissues of the same watches is the inclusion of woven fabric straps instead of rubber straps or metal bracelets and minor tweaks to the dial colours. Although these fabric straps are merely... Um, does Seiko is trying to make them a bit special... Uh, they are braided using a technique known as siku, if I pronounce that right. My Japanese isn't brilliant. But uh, this is traditionally used to weave obijimi, which is the cord used to secure kimono. According to Seiko's internal testers, the braided weave of the uh, strap is four times as strong as mm -hmm. an ordinary Seiko fabric strap, making it perfect match for a no-nonsense dive watch. And uh, these straps do cost more on the watches as they're $200, $200 more expensive than the equivalents that uh, came on rubber straps. And, um, yeah, interesting. If you're a Seiko fan and you, you, you're into the, um, the heritage, it's... Uh, not, not, not too bad, but they're, they're not limited editions. So uh, they're coming in at one thousand three hundred for the turtle dollars, or one thousand two hundred dollars for the sixty-two mass. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get a brown fabric strap with the sixty-two mass, and an additional beige fabric strap, or you get a green fabric strap with the additional grey fabric strap with the turtle. So, yeah, uh, yeah these quite are, nice. These are real nice, real nice, uh, you know, as, as an owner of a, of a king turtle, um, you know, I, I, I like both of these. Uh, the, the strap uh, is what really uh, stands out. That's a very cool woven strap. Um, there was a good close of it there. Um, it's lovely, uh, isn't it? Yeah, that, in the, in the really summertime, nice. that's got to be really comfortable and... Uh, and uh especially if you're going into the water with it um that looks like it uh will perform really well and uh i mean you can't argue with the you know with the the look of either of these uh the you know the m62 mas uh, remake or, or or the the turtle version uh they're both classic seiko divers um yeah absolutely and they're not four thousand dollars, so you know, at, at, at twelve hundred, you know, I, I can see this. 
Um, I, obviously, I haven't tried this watch on, but I think one of the things that often not spoken about when we talk about the turtles is just how damn comfortable they are on. Mm. They, they they wear very well. They do. Like I wouldn't, you know, if someone wants like you know a, a turtle or a watch in that price range, uh, I I think it's worth putting one on your wrist. It's, it wears very well. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Especially with the turtle, you know, like you were saying, Neo. Uh, it's a big watch. It's not going to be for everybody at 45 mil, but um, uh, the way it, how compact it is, um, you know, it's got a short lug to lug and it just sits on the wrist really, really nicely. Um, yeah. yeah. yeah I, this, I, I always prefer the look of uh, a samurai uh, as an object more. Mm -hmm. um, but. As an owner of a samurai and a turtle, the turtle wears way better. So yeah, and, better. and these two reissues are a little bit more subtle than some other like turtles, right? So the color scheme and everything is mm -hmm. going to be a more versatile watch, right? Than having like a super like a green. <laughs> yeah, they've <laughs> changed the dial. They have changed the dial a little bit on this, on both of them. On the yeah. uh, turtle, it goes slightly, slightly green khaki color. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the turtle I have is the Nemo, which is like a, a super uh, metallic uh, orange. And it even mm -hmm. has the Cyclops. Yeah. And I really hate that damn Cyclops. But the watch is freaking orange, like shiny orange, not the matte orange. I love mm -hmm. that. But I would like, I would probably, and I'm not a big fan of green, but I would probably get that one of these two. And it looks so badass. And Chats from the Berg is saying that this turtle actually wears smaller, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, almost all the turtles um, wear, even though they're a big watch, they do wear smaller because the 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 lug to lug is is very manageable. So yeah, it's forty two point seven millimeters uh, wide and uh, thirteen point two thick. So it's uh, it's it, it's a uh, it's well, a fairly it, substantial size. I'm, I'm yeah, putting on a turtle right now. I'm going to go put on the turtle right now. <laughs> I mean, it, it it's big, but not necessarily by today's standards, right? I don't think people right. should be put yeah, off correct. by by the fact that it's 42.7, right? There's plenty of 43-ish, 44 watches out there. It's I think it's still manageable. Um, Agreed. And, you know, the, the crown guard... If, it is, I, I'd, I'd agree that it wears well, and I'd say that it sometimes looks bigger than it actually is until you put it on your wrist. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, I think the size is very manageable. Yeah, yeah, this is actually uh, a little smaller than my uh, than my king turtle, so, um, but uh, they sit very well uh, on the wrist, and they're very comfortable. Um so yeah, nothing. Uh, I got nothing but good things to say about this one. Good, two good-looking watches. Yeah, nice, both nice. I know ID guys got one of the sixty-two mass um, reissues that came out mm -hmm. last year. I think he loves it. Really likes it. Yeah, lovely, lovely basic design. Yeah, and those straps are are probably going to be nicer than the bracelet you can usually get yeah. for those. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you got to get like a strap code uh, bracelet usually for these things. But yep. I, I kind of yep. want one of those needles, actually. <laughs> well, now that you've got your turtle on, we've got a watch coming up for you here, Neil. We've got the uh, Erwick UR105 TTH Tantalum. Launched in 2014, the UR105 with a more elaborate successor to the uh, UR103 watch with the satellite disc wandering hours. And after seven years, it's been replaced by OX entry level UR100. Therefore, the uh, UR105 will be retired. So, Erwick are giving it a grand send off with this TTH model. The TTH is an abbreviation of Tantalum Hull. The material is used on the front plate and the uh, lid of the case is watch. And it's a dense metal with a distinctive color that's used for surgical implants, turbine blades, and even artillery shells. It's wow. difficult to machine and uh, finish due to the hardness. However, Omega and FB John have used the metal for cases in the past. 
and uh, the metal will make the watch substantially heavier than the standard steel version of the UR105, which is more easily wearable. The price is also 20% more expensive than the steel-based model, coming in at around $86,000. Sorry, $86, but given that it is the last of its kind, there are only 12 pieces of this model, it's not too bad. Over designer Martin Fry says, uh, says that the, uh, he was inspired by the skyscrapers of New York City when he designed the UR105 and uh, releasing the lockdown mechanism, which is an oblong button on the middle of the top case, reveals the OEC signature wandering hours mechanism in more detail. There you can see it. Yeah, I love this watch. Uh, I, I'm not usually a, a fan of her work, but I I like this watch. <laughs> it's cool looking. It, it, it really is. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. And, you know, I, I, I think what's cool is that we've, been hearing all these years how tantalum is really hard to polish mm -hmm. right? and um, i like how it, this one's tantalum and it's like just a brushed finish type yep. of thing i yep. think it's really well executed um and uh geezer makes a a, a good point right as uh, he says is a grand send-off uh a new fad in the watch world uh, yeah 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 i I think uh, maybe I, I I'm not sure about this one, right? Because it's very limited and it's a very um, very specific market. But I'd mm -hmm. say grand send off for a lot of watches <laughs> also means usually uh, cash grab, right? Exactly. So, yeah. Like yeah. the uh, the cash grab uh, Nautilus or <laughs> something yeah. like that. But, but like I mean. Uh, <laughs> Maybe maybe it's because I'm a fanboy, but this is like the type of watch where if I had ninety thousand dollars to spend on a watch, this I, I would get this. You know, like it, it works for work. It's it looks gorgeous. Um, they did a really good job with this for work fans. They did. Then and, and recently, I, I do like the the more recent releases that have the maybe more manageable size, um, mm -hmm. but I. Look, it's. I, I think this is the the Urwerk, right? This one and the new, slightly smaller one. They're yeah, just, they're really, really, really cool. I um, I, I agree with you, Ennis. Usually, uh, these watches have been overpowering, and you know I don't have a small wrist, but they they've just been monsters. The, the, this one, it, it 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 looks a lot more compact and. Um, I don't know whether it's it's the just the brushing of, of the tantalum, um, but it, it this is this is really cool looking. <laughs> and like I said, these artworks usually don't impress me that much, but but this one is really cool. Yeah, and you know, if you want a larger wrist, it's pretty simple to get. You just eat more pizza and ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Brent says it looks like a bit of a predator vibe, and I've got I've got I see why he's saying that. It's, it's got that predator look, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean these, these all kind of are meant to look like um, the armor on a knight. Yep, yep. That's kind of the inspiration of this sort of case. Uh, I just wanted to welcome our, our friend uh, JCB from uh, Down Under. Yeah, welcome, my welcome friend. JCB. Hey, fellas, how's it going? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Nice in the background of you. Yeah, yeah, if you got a, a TV on in the background, if you could kill that or lower it. Yeah, no worries. What I might do is I might just I might just hop out for about five minutes and then I'll I'll jump back on. Sure, okay. no problem. Yeah, so that's fine. See you soon. Yeah. All right. They, they they ought to do like a product placement of this watch. Like the Mandalorian should wear this watch. Exactly. <laughs> that's, yeah. Neo, that's brilliant. <laughs> that is freaking brilliant. Yes, <laughs> the product Mandalorian placement. should yeah. should wear this. Yeah. Product placement is best. Yeah. Or or the one that looks like the Millennium Falcon. But. Right, right, and, and you know, in the grand scheme of things, okay, it's seventy-seven thousand Swiss francs, but I, I, I don't feel put off by that price. I, I, I think that's kind of for 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 what you're getting, and and it's something that's so unique. Uh, that's not highway robbery. Yeah, it's so. Yeah, no, look, th this is you know, it, it's like a supercar, 
right? Right. It's it's that it's a like a sports watch. You can get a uh, you can get a Rolls Royce or an S Class or whatever, like everybody else, or you know, you can get a you can get a supercar, and this this is it, right? Yeah, for sure. Or, or if you could only afford a Toyota, there's the Gorilla Drift. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's you know that's a cool um, it's a cool alternative to a watch like this. Um, unfortunately, I've I've um, I've been told by many people you have to be careful. There are tons of um, uh, counterfeit Gorilla watches out there. So just yeah, one thing yeah. to to think about. But uh, yeah, the I, I do have to say the. That new one that has like kind of like a seventies inspired uh, case. I forget the name. The Gorilla one. Mm-hmm. That's really a cool watch. Oh, um, that the um, uh, just outlining a drift or something. Um, the, it, it is wandering at the wandering hours. The uh, out, outline drift or something. It's something like that. I forget the name, mm. but they changed, they changed the case, so it used to be more square. The drift the. They used to be more squarish, and then with the latest version, it kind of uh, looks more cushion shaped. Um, yeah, the the new one. It's the the outlaw. The outlaw. Uh, the outlaw drift. Yeah. yeah. I'm with Orange Hand. I think her work is is cooler than Richard Mill. Just me. Uh, uh, it, yes, in some ways, I would totally agree. Look, I I, I think there you know, there's there's Richard Mill. There's her work. There's MBNF, right? right. There's, there's mm-hmm. all these, uh, you know, Vienna Alter. There's all these cool watches that really are, you know, they're these really, really cool, yet very expensive, um, independents, all low production numbers. Uh, I'd, I'd put the bits in, in, the, in the same category, right? Mm-hmm. Look, it's uh, varieties, the spice of life. There's some for everyone right and it's the same as a supercar right what if everybody what if there was only one supercar model out there right Mm -hmm. how crappy would it be to spend like a million dollars and everybody has the same car right this is it's cool limited editions or low production numbers uh if you have the money you like it great if you don't somebody else will enjoy it but i think they're really cool watches yeah, clocks and clocks and clocks says that uh, Erwick should partner with Marvel instead of AP, and I think he's got it spot on there. I think uh, uh, he, you know what? More, these are more superhero watches. You know what? AP can ruin their watches with Marvel stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> keep, right. Keep her work nice. Right? Yeah. <laughs> let, let let AP ruin their watches. Yeah. <laughs> Completely agree. So we'll move on to Patek Philippe when they're identical to the 5968A with the orange strap and chrono secondhand from three years ago. These two new Aquanaut chronos from Patek now come in white gold and have a choice of khaki green dial, made famous by the Aquanaut nicknamed the Grenade, or a stunning midnight blue color. Both found with on the time on the uh, 5168 G models. The price of uh, $69,190 is about 50% more than the steel version. However, the price will uh, matter little to the people who are buying these, uh, who would be glad to just get their hands on one, probably. Patek released the Equinor in 1997 as an affordable casual sports model for young clients. And it keeps that. The, the Geosphere dial has a solid white gold hands and applied hour markers filled with super lumen over which are slightly different color tones on each dial. White on the midnight blue and a slight greenish on the khaki model. And uh, because of the white gold case, the pushers look a bit more polished and lustrous mm-hmm. than the steel version. And the column wheel flyback with vertical clutch features Patek's trademark innovation such as Gyromax as a Gyromax adjustable mass balance fitted with a Spiromax silicon hairspring. Yeah, very, very, uh, you know, it's another paddock, and you know, for those Six, who 69,000, which would be a yeah. choice? Do you go for the blue or the green? Do you think? Um, I'm always going blue, but 
Uh, the green is very cool. Uh, I just want to welcome in uh, James Arthur. Uh, welcome, James. Uh, it's been a long time since we talked to you. Uh, good well, evening. Welcome. Good evening, guys. How are you? Welcome, We're James. Good. good to speak to you. Good, good. How are you, Thomas? How are you, Blue Shirt? And good. We've got N NS and Neo, yes? Yep, 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 yep. And is Another JCB back with us yet? He, not yet. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna pop he's back he, in in a couple he's minutes. He's probably gonna have to um, take care of his children and, and, and get back in his office. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like the kids were getting uh, getting ready to to start their day. So it's kind of interesting about the Aquanaut, right? I mean, mm -hmm. as Thomas was saying, they released it because they kind of wanted to attract a younger audience. Um, they, they made it a lot more casual than their normal line. But then, this. But then, it's the fans themselves that made this watch mm -hmm. a lot more than it was ever meant to be. I mean, it's, exactly, it, it's it blew up. And I mean, I, I personally like the. I've always liked the Aquanaut more than the Nautilus. It, uh, yeah, me so too. I me too. Uh, yeah. I agree. I hundred percent agree. But um, but you know, like I, I think it's the power of the Patek name that has propelled it right like mm -hmm. it, uh, another company doing this watch you know 15 20 years ago whenever it first came out it would not be like this these days it's only because of the paddock name that's correct yeah i, th I think if a micro brand was to do a watch similar style to this i mean it would just be a glorified field watch yeah yeah i mean a case this sort of case on a rubber band uh, with that sort of um, you know, dial, it would just be no more than a glorified field watch. I mean, realistically. Yeah, I suppose you're pretty much spot on there, James. Yeah. If you look at you, if you look at your passion, Thomas, for um, Yemas, if you look at the um, is it is it the um, Navy Graph? The Navy Graph, yeah. The Navy Graph, or what's the one? What's the one that looks very similar to the Aquanaut in sort of style? The brush case, Navy Graph. Um, or the I can't another think one. Of hand. There's, a, there's a Yemma which is very similar to the brush case in the Yemma range to the Equinaut. Mm -hmm. And you I mean it's, it's a thousand dollar watch, right? Right, I mean, I just this, think, yeah, no, go ahead, James. I, I, was I, just I just say, think this, this watch is just so overrated. I mean, personally, I mean, yeah. I, I, I've got one, I've got, a, I've got a green one, and um, I, I, I bought it because purely because of how it looked. And I think, you know, once again, I think you the bought blue it, looks I better think, in this watch. Did you, buy for, did you buy for your love of khaki green as well? Yeah, exactly right. I think the blue looks better in this watch, technically, um, as as everybody everybody I talk to loves the blue in this. Um, but I would go for the green because I love the green. Yeah, I was thinking, I mean, I looked at them both and I thought the blue looks, the blue struck me straight away instantaneously. Exactly. And then I thought, would I go for the green? And then I thought, yes, I'd go for the green. And the, <laughs> but, now, but, but now I'm thinking... No, the blue is just is too striking. I the agree. Blue, the blue is very blue striking. Is the one yes. to go for. The blue is definitely the one to go for. I think. Yeah, I think my heart would in this though, configuration. I, don't have a brain. I think in this configuration too, as as a chrono, it really makes the Aquanaut look. Really it does. Sweet. It's a, it's a sweet looking watch. It I, really. I a hundred percent agree with you, Neo. It it. it uh, not that there's anything, and I, I I like the look of the regular Aquanaut, but but the Chrono completes this watch. It really does. That's correct. I agree. And the case back. I mean, look at the case back. I mean, the case back. I mean, that's when you're really talking. It is a, it is a take. I mean, the case back on this is just superb. I mean, it is. That, that's when you know you're talking high horology. Yeah, uh, I and mean, it's just. That's when you know you you're wearing a piece of absolute precision on your wrist right i mean the proportions are just correct it, it you know it's under 12 thick it's 42 um uh, it, you know it, it, it's got a lot going for it it's it's just it, it, it's a shame that it's you know an overly hyped watch and yeah it's sixty nine thousand, but you know what are you really gonna nobody's gonna be able to get it and if you want it you're gonna have to spend way more than retail to get one uh you know unless you're uh you know a major player um 
Well, the not, not only that, the thing, the thing that I can't get over is you have to still use a razor blade to, ca- to size your band, mm. and mm-hmm. you've got to pay three times retail to buy the actual bands now. Wow, that's crazy. Absolutely that's the thing crazy. I can't get over. I mean, it's, uh, have you heard of having to pay three times retail to buy a replacement band? Because the bands do actually wear out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Here's a super question, and it may be an anthem. Uh, do, do they make replicas of this watch? Well, I mean, the, you can get the PSA Polo S, which is probably the nearest I can think of. To no, the, I, I meant, could, could I go get uh, like, I'm, I'm, a replica I'm, watch? I'm not that in the looks... world, but I'm sure they must make a replica of this. They make replicas yes. of everything, everything else. They, they must. I mean, they make replicas. Of course. Are, yeah. are you thinking about getting a replica bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a strap? Is that where you're, where you're going? No, I'm thinking it? like, like, well, like, what, what if I just wanted the look of this watch, but I don't want to spend the money on it because I don't really care that it's a Patek. And you know, and I'm not really gonna lie to you to tell you that it is a Patek, but I just like the way it looks. Like, can I get like a a a, a cheap field watch that looks just like this? It happens to be a replica. Not not that we endorse replicas that are on this show, but I'm sure there's probably one out there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I mean, but I, I think there's a market for that, right? Like watches that look. Oh yeah, I mean, just go look on AliExpress or 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 you know, or wish one, one... Com or yeah, I'm I'm sure you're gonna find. Uh, the you know, what, what was it? The, right, yeah, yeah, the what was it? The Bagel Sport years ago was the was the Nautilus. That's um, correct. Uh, still knockoff. Yeah. And for the for the record, I'm not gonna go buy a replica. I mean, because, uh, but but you know, I guess what I'm saying is. It's such a great look, I think. I think it is a very appealing look. And it is. Just, but just again, go ask Jody off just one more watch. He'll probably know the answer to it with all these um, Chinese bargains. Yes, but, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's he's, I, uh, he's big into, in, into uh, AliExpress and all that. But I, um, I, I have yeah. to say the, the Midnight Blue is really nice mm-hmm. on this yeah, one. I agree. It really is, yeah. It, it's not their usual tired gray-blue weird blue or whatever uh, mm-hmm. this one really looks nice and and the strap looks just nice i'm, I'm not sure about the green i'm not i, I don't think I, i've ever been crazy about the green one mm-hmm. um uh, i'm a diehard for the green there in this <laughs> yeah you, do you know what i don't like about the green it's the um the strap is it makes it really, really green for some reason for me. Mm-hmm. Um, like the green with a black strap would be cool. I've, um, heard, I've heard that before from people actually. I think I think JCB mentioned that in the in the um, Discord during the week. He said the same thing actually. Yeah, but look, they're nice watches. They're we can sit around and say they're very expensive, but at the end of the day, it's a gold paddock, right? That's correct. What, what you have to expect, unless yeah. you're buying like a, you know, yeah. a yeah. Calatrava that's too small for you or something, you know. Yeah, if um, it's too expensive, you can go crappy luxury and say what he's saying. He's saying a fake Aquanaut is the uh, best deal. So uh, yeah. you can. Uh, I'm not actually going to buy it. Way. But uh, like when I look at this, it's like fuck, like. I could probably go get an Hermes, the new one, and, mm-hmm. and that would take a lot of the same bubbles. But this, some, it's, it's, this it's, not, it's not chronograph, and I, I don't think no. the um, it's not not the movement and the whole. It's not fatigue. I mean, it's not not the same watch. No, no, not at all, not at all. All right, so um, no. We yeah, can move on to our one. last bit of news. In recent years, Zodiac has revived the most of uh, its uh, best-known sports watches, namely the Super Seawolf Divers, produced from 1950s to 1970s. These appealed to many because of their retro looks and affordable price range. The colours of the watches that Zodiac offered were mostly the same as the originals. However, Zodiac has just debuted the Super Seawolf Aquamarine Dream. I this love this. special edition conceived in one. collaboration with Ariel Adams, the founder of American watch magazine, A Blog to Watch. The new Super Sea Wolf is inspired by marine colours from Nassau during a 2019 trip to the Bahamas. Ariel's creation is delivered in several shades of greeny blue, right down to the hue of the Super Luminova and the Tropic Star rubber strap they'd supplied with a uh, 
uh, it's not a limited edition, and though although the uh, initial batch is sold out, it can be re reserved in advance as additional production runs are being made. The bezels on these watches are really nice, and uh, being made of hardened glass insert that mimic the Bakelite bezel found on the originals, the mineral gla glass, while m more prone to scratches, is stronger and uh, prone to cr less prone to cracking. Mm -hmm. And uh, the screw down case back also features a lacquer medallion in reproducing Ariel's handwriting saying, I'd rather be swimming. <laughs> the movement is a dressed up ETA 2824 clone produced by Swiss Technology Production, SCP, which is a sister company of Zodiac owned by uh, the American watch conglomerate Fossil. And Fossil acquired SCP in 2012 to ensure supply of Swiss made movements. For all its upper end brands and now also supplies several micro brands including Satori Biard. So this is a really nice watch, I think. This is mm -hmm. a, this is I love the color scheme on this. Really like it. Yeah, and I like the, the decoration on the movement as as you can see there. Um the only thing uh you know I've I've heard some issues and, and even Carlos um when he got his um he had bought a Zodiac, and two weeks after he got it, it just the movement just stopped working. Uh, and and I've read that a couple of times from from different people um, that uh, that the STP, STP movements um, have been problematic. Now you know Is maybe right? they maybe they they've worked it out. Um, I, I, I tried to replace the STP movement on my Magret, like about. Yeah. Nine months into owning it, the the crown just fell off. This is coming in at one thousand four hundred ninety-five dollars, so it's a it's a cracking deal of a watch, I think. And, it is. Uh, it is. I'm, I'm you're, 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 not, you're not you're not going to you're not going to get you're not going to get a top top grade movement. You go, you go, you're going to get something like an STP in this, I think. I, the I the one of the things that's weird though, and I know STP makes a lot of movement. Right. I wonder if this is not the right STP movement for a watch like this because mm -hmm. the uh, it this one is a clone of the 2024 uh, with a, a swan's neck regulator, right? So uh, not necessarily the the best most, thing, for the a, most robust. Yeah, for for a diver or something. So I, I don't know if they're. I don't know if the issues that that it's an STP movement versus not maybe not the right STP movement for mm -hmm. that type of watch, right? I'm, I, like, I'm surprised because STP movements have proven to be very reliable in the past, and they're using the fossil watches as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, definitely a good a good looking watch. And before I got my Doxa, I was seriously considering. Getting a Zodiac uh, Super Sea Wolf just because it uh, it's a cool looking watch and uh, um, and it's priced right. Um, but uh, you know the things I read about the movement that uh, kind of scared me off a little. But uh, really, yeah. But uh, you know, hey, the, uh, I'm the, sure the, the, there are other there are other releases. You know, the watermelon and the uh, yeah. The, the other ones they released were had a huge following and they were sold mm -hmm. out and we couldn't get them and there was never any bad press about those watches. Yeah. Okay. Uh, welcome back, J C B. I just wanted to say hello to my friend. Hey, yeah, welcome hey back, fellas. JCB. Great hey. to see you. Hey, yeah, JCB. likewise. Hey everyone, how's it going? Sorry I'm a bit late. I had a pretty hectic uh, night with young kids. I'm sure you guys uh, I think you've either had young kids or you know, yeah. you, you've, you you had them at that at some stage. That uh, things get a bit hectic. Yeah. But, uh, worries, thanks, uh, <clears throat> good to talk to you guys. Good to see you guys. And uh, I like Derek B's comment there. Let's see, swim up bar diver for the yeah uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's a good one. Yeah, and you get the you get that that strap and that <clears throat> bracelet right. So depending on how you're feeling, how uh, mm -hmm. how 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 hectic the bar is. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, how, yeah. You know, <laughs> how much you really want to go for it? You can you can either go more subdued and uh, the bracelet, or just go all out and put uh, on that strap. 
now that um, I'm looking at this, it's really it. it, the, it Eric is right. It it, it, it is a swim up bar <laughs> kind of watch. It really is. <laughs> it's funny. I was looking at um, I was looking for a black watch a couple of weeks ago, and the Super Sea Wolf um, in in DLC came across my desk, and I was having a look at this watch um, in the black version, and um, James was saying, "Oh, you'll be able to get it easy." But um, it's pretty hard to find, actually. The, 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 these watches get really popular, um, these Seawolves. So I, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, that, I thought they had a cult. So, I, th- I thought they had the coloured versions had very much a cult following. Mm. And they've just they've just done a um, a, a revival of a sneaker of the you know the seventies sneaker following as well. Yeah, I know. You, I know. That, I know that you've mentioned in the past, James, that STP movements are proving very popular in micro brands, and uh... yeah, they're starting to because the obviously the leaders keep going up in price, right? And um, obviously, people have tried to give give given the an edge in the micro brand world, Thomas, because everybody was using for a long time the NH thirty five, then they mm-hmm. moved to the NH thirty six, and then the thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty eight, and you know, but at the end of the day. The, in, in the Seiko movements have always been workhorses, robust, and have always yeah, sure. been reliable. But micro brands are trying to always give an edge over their competitors and offer a point of difference, which is obviously a traditional marketing strategy. Offer a point of difference to you know your buyers who are backing you, because obviously most micro brands are funded via Kickstarter campaigns. So right. yeah, I've been a fan of the STP movements and. Um, yeah, but there, there has been a lot of people who have said they stop, and you know, that has there has been that that has been said in the market. But I think it comes back to um, the minimum order quantity and how they how they regulate it. Right. So that All was right. The, that was the uh, zodiac. So we'll go on to our main theme, which is two tone. And uh, yeah, I was I was wondering about this. Who who actually wears two tone? I mean, uh, that, for, for that me, would be me. Yeah, it'd be beautiful for me. <laughs> Every day. For me, I've always considered them as a retired gentleman's watch. No, no offense, Blucher, but yeah, not, that, not was, that was. I am the old guy here, so that was maybe given as you know the watch that was maybe given as a gift by their employer as on retirement, or also a woman's watch, which which is worn as a piece of jewelry to accessorize with a range of outfits, and uh, also in many countries. A gold or two-tone watch is a favoured option when buying an expensive watch because they prefer to spend on spend if they're spending a lot of money on a watch, uh, you know, spend on something that's gold, and it also helps shows one wealth, one's wealth. So I thought we'd have a good, mm, bad, a the u- good, the bad, and the ugly shoot off yeah. of uh, some yeah. two-tone watches. So if the punters in the yeah. audience want to put a uh, Good, bad, or ugly for the watches that we show here. Oh, good one! That that'd be a good little, uh, good little uh, bit of fun. Well, well, but and to, to, to Blue Shirt's defense, he is wearing one, one of the cooler two tones out there, and he is older, and he does look like Tom Sullivan. So <laughs> those things combined make it okay for him to own a blue suit. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Well, we, we'll we'll start off with one of the. Uh, Two turn watches that Blue Shirt was quite fond of himself, I think. Yeah, I uh, was one of the few people that really liked this watch from the get go. Not not necessarily the two tone version, but uh, I like this watch a lot. Um, I, I think it's 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 equally as good looking in the two tone. But I thought the, 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 some of these ones we start off with, or maybe. You, good for women's choices but i mean all two-tone good for women's choices this is the Chopard alpine eagle comes in at seventeen thousand pounds and it's rose gold and it's surprising how much rose gold features on two-tone watches um mm-hmm. it's a very prominent it gives gives it more of a sort of prominent look you know it's, it's a very very uh highlights it a lot more and uh yeah, it's a lovely watch that show had, I think. It is. I love that that pattern on on the dial that's supposed to be the you know uh, the close up of a, the, the, the eagle's, eagle's eye. eye. Yeah. Mm. Well, I was going to say. Uh, well, I was thinking about um, two tone 
during the week. And one of the things that I thought um, that for, for me personally that I like on a two-tone watch um, is to have a dark dial with the watch. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I don't, I, mean, I don't really dig two-tone when it's got like a white or a light dial. But here you can see the two-tone, the rose with that, with that slate grey dial. That the colours just work really well together. Um, so I think that's um, one of the things with two-tone is obviously getting the the colours right. And here they've just done it really well. Yeah, I I think as I think it's not just two-tone, right? Even full gold. I feel like as soon yeah. as gold is involved, whether it's yellow, you know, rose, red, whatever, honey, um, as, as soon as gold is involved, it's really easy to go just a little bit too far and ruin it completely. So mm-hmm. the the dial, um, the dial's important, the indices, everything, right? Because this looks nice, yeah. but then you can get, you can end up with like a, uh, you know, like a two-tone... Uh, what's that uh, Cartier two tone that uh, that guy wore in Wall Street? Um, Santos. Yeah, you know, like you can go like just a little bit too far, and then you end up with that watch that just looks, you know, like 1985 or something. But, oh. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that some of us have been guilty of liking the uh, Santos. I am one. I'm one in particular. <laughs> Yeah, that was that's that's one of the nicer two tones, in my opinion. The Santos, yeah, they do it really well. Yeah, that that, that is a classic. The Santos, yeah. This Chopard Eagle is um, this is a nice looking two tone. I, I actually, didn't, when you said two tone about this show this week, I didn't think of this watch. I mean, this this, this is a, a watch that's often ignored. I mean, this watch is, doesn't come up in anybody's thought pattern. I mean, I've seen this yeah. watch in the blue dial quite often with people who are wearing it, but I haven't thought of this watch in a two tone. And I'm not a two-tone lover, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm either a brick solid gold or I'm a stainless steel guy mostly with black. This is actually a very nice watch you pull up here, Thomas. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm with you, James. Um, and, and, and I like two-tone, but I didn't think of this watch when, no, when, didn't, when thinking about you know, two-tones. So. Yeah, me either. When, you, when I thought about coming on the show, when I, told you, when I thought, no, I didn't think of this watch at all. This was not not a watch that I thought would be a contender, but this is a, this looks really nice. It does. I would wear this watch, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's nice. I like it too. Lovely. Have any of you guys um, tried on the Alpine Eagle in the metal? Have you? I have had it on. Yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's lovely. Uh, you yeah. know, it's slim. It uh, it's got decent wrist presence at forty one millimeter. Um, again, I I'm partial to the blue version, of course. Yeah. Um, it fit my wrist perfectly. Um, the the yeah. blue version is great, actually. The blue version, the yeah. dial on the blue version is actually very very unique. Yeah, next I, I want to get this one on wrist and and have a look at it because it's one of those ones I feel like uh, that I need to. Just experience. It's like it's, sure. um, Jason, it's like the Langer. You've got to have it on wrist to actually see if yeah. you like it or not. Yeah, the, the, for this sure. watch with both the, the Lang, the ALS, and the Chopper Eagle were both released about around the same time, and yeah. they both were, they fell victim of a lot of criticism. Um, yeah. But they're both watches that you really have got to see in person and have yeah. on the wrist to actually appreciate them. And when you see yeah. them in person, uh, you, you, you go. Oh wow! Yeah. These are both you're, you're talking about the Odysseus, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I could get the I, I appreciated that one just seeing the pictures. To be honest, um, as, as I as but, I, I didn't, I was sort of like looking at yeah. the pictures. I was like, oh, that that but, that watch is a bit off. Yep. Yeah, because the, yeah. the, the bracelet the bracelet I think. Yeah, the bracelet. Well, the bracelet still gets me a little bit. To be honest. <laughs> So the yep. next yep. watch was is one that I, I'm a fan of this watch, but the the in its when it's not two tone. But with this two tone example, uh, I didn't really like to be honest with you. No, oh, no. Did I go to the no. wrong one. I'm sorry, Thomas. Wrong one. Yeah. Wrong sorry, one. sorry, sorry. Hold on. There we go. Okay. We've got the Bulgari Octo. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I love I love this watch. Yeah. 
Do you love it in two turn though, James? Oh love. no. I don't think I was. I was a slur strap. It's a lovely watch, the Bulgari Octophonissima. I love it myself. But um, I've seen it yeah. in rose gold. I've seen it in. And I've and, and, seen it in two tone. To be honest with you. I'm not. I uh, got the wrong one again. Sorry the about that. Again. That's a, but that's a load, great thing to I loaded up so many. Hold on. If I were a woman, I would wear this watch. Yeah, well, I was just, I just thought I'd lead to a few uh, ah. one, examples that women would wear more than men, just to start off with. Oh, well, um, I think two tone, I think two tone watches, Thomas, as, as a general. Um, is ha, will attract uh, generally will attract a female audience because um, they can mix and match two tone watch greater with fashion with jewelry they can they can it's it's very much a female audience if you were to do the demographics on two tone <sighs> it's going to be very much skewed towards females more than males unless you're looking at you know the older date just type audience which are retired as we make often make jokes about. Um, I think it's very much skewed. I mean, I know my wife, I can say that quite openly because my wife would probably look at love two tone for 25 years or more. So I think it's very much, a, and, and she's also, when it comes to it, she's a yellow gold person. She, she sees a yellow gold watch and she's like, well, give me a yellow gold AP, give me a yellow gold Rolex, whatever. Mm -hmm. She's like a yellow gold person. So I think females very much um, are very attracted to two tone watches. Did you guys own Rolex 5100? You can click on the left, so the picture's on the left if you want blue shirt, I think. This is a very, this is, this is, this is really... I see, really uh, I, see, I see cartel boss written all over this watch. Yeah, I, I didn't like it myself. I, I, I mean, oh, this, I, I love the... This is a bit the, weird. I love the Oscar Finissima, but I mean, I didn't like uh, this one myself. It was just a bit this too... This is a bit of a mixed match. Yeah, there's a bit of a mismatch, like you say, James. It was too ra too rounded on the gold, on the gold. Yeah, the front on gold, and then it's got a mismatch everywhere else. Yeah, and and this yeah. is the this is the octo Roma, right? So it's, uh, uh, the it's movement and it. everything. It's not it's not as nice as the as the Finissimo to begin with. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah, uh, this is a really weird. And, and look, it's a very weird bracelet to be doing two tone, really, right? Um, yeah. The way it's constructed. Look, it was done the reverse way, where it had, it had more gold and less silver. Yeah, it, it, it's and and it's not necessarily that it's not a nice looking watch. It's just maybe an an awkward watch to be doing two uh, an, an awkward bracelet, I should say, for yeah. two tone. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. I think I think this one would be an ideal watch to get a huge discount on because I don't think they'd be flying off the shelves. Yeah. Maybe, but I I mean you always talk about discount, James. I, I've never been in. I've never ever had the audacity to even ask for discount at, at, <laughs> in the shop. Yeah, they say, Tom. So you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, you just have to ask, and then you've never you asked for a discount, discount Tom. Yeah. yeah. No. No. So you we got, got to the ask for a discount, uh, Thomas. Mate, you, you got to. You can't, you can't throw your money cash away, mate. You got to. Uh, you got to always ask. And the worst thing to say is no. <laughs> <laughs> they they must love you. Are you all right, D? You must have a great <laughs> relationship there, Thomas. Yeah. So, so this, and, this one's obviously a woman's watch, and it's right. the Bulgari Serpenti yeah. to Bogos. This is uh, in rose gold again, and. Uh, this is fifteen thousand uh, pounds, and it's a. I think it's a lovely option for a woman to dress up in with this watch. I think. Yeah, I and, and again, right? I, I think this bracelet, it fits a lot more to tell. Yes, absolutely. Right? Agreed. It, it matches their jewelry because I will have a, yeah. this particular watch is perfect because it's more it's more a piece of jewelry than it is a watch. They'll have yeah. on their other wrist. They'll have their cuffs and their. You know their their Cartier love bracelets and there have their matching rings and so forth, and this watch is becoming as hard to get as a Rolex or as an AP or numerous other watches. I mean, these things are as hot as hot to get now. Um, the wow. great deal is to try and buy these as much as possible, and because they can't get enough of these. When these things, the waiting list to get one of these Bulgaris is just is is huge now. You can't just walk in and buy one anymore. 
Yeah, but hasn't yeah. Bulgari jewelry always been very hot? Um, you used to be able to walk into the boutiques and just buy one of these, and not anymore. I mean, no. these these watches for ladies are becoming huge, hugely expensive to get. I mean, they can't, the way the way this is apparently, this is what I'm told. I'm told by some of my colleagues because um, my wife's got, got these, and um, you can't just get them anymore. And the waiting list could be like up to twelve months. Wow, not just in two tone, but in in the mm -hmm. whole range. Because obviously they come in just you know standard gold, standard silver, rose gold, etc. Um, they're ve they're very very um, hard to get now because um, they're a piece of jewelry and a watch at the same time. They're perfect for evenings, evening wear. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll move into your ballpark next, James, and I'm sure your wife will have one of these, or maybe even Megan, or Jacinta, uh, but... Uh, yeah, if it's rose gold, it'll have to be Jacinta. <laughs> I don't know whether it's... Yes, it's 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 pink gold. Not pink one. gold, same thing. Wow. That's, we've got the Royal, the Royal Oak 15 450 SR. I, I had the the pleasure to um, uh, oh no that was a was a, that was a VC sorry never mind I would get my watches confused oh this, this yes. is a stunning piece stunning piece this comes this 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 has been around for this has been around for a very long time this piece mm -hmm. I think this piece came yeah. originally with thirty seven mils didn't it yes originally. Um, yeah, good one I've done. Yeah, no, this, this piece oh, lovely, this, this is this is a this is the classic piece of the AP range, like a number of the Rolex pieces are classic, you know? Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful piece. Yeah, yeah, what's there to love about that? I mean, that is just a beautiful, beautiful watch. White yeah. dial. I mean, white dial's always beautiful in an AP. I mean, it's just so classic. I mean this I mean this is such a beautiful piece. I mean it's even hard to say no to a two tone for a in this piece, I mean, it's just so classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's very well executed with the with the bolts, right? The mm -hmm. dial, the crown, yeah. um, the rose gold. It, it's just yeah. it it it's nicely done. It doesn't look awkward. It doesn't yeah. look like it's you know been pieced together just as a cash grab or anything else. It, it's a really nice watch. Yeah, it is. It is thirty seven mil. Yep. This is this this is a, this is um this is suit will suit some guys, but once again this is skewed towards a female. I mean this is just yep. this is mm -hmm. just a this is a watch that if, if your female is a one watch owner, which a lot of females are, um this is a perfect one watch collection for a female. Agreed. I mean, yeah, completely agreed. So yeah. They don't do the forty one in um, two tone. It's just this this the thirty seven size. Uh, the one I looked up was this one. Um, yeah. they, they may well do a, th a 41, um, but I did I've see never, this. Yeah, I've never seen it in 41. Yeah. Um, I, I, I tried on the solid rose gold 15400, which, yeah, yep. which is the 41 mil. Um, and that was one of the most amazing feeling watches I've ever, yeah. I have ever tried on. The, the <laughs> fifth year. That's that's the the brick, yeah, uh, yeah. That yeah. that is that, that is that uh, would be something. Yeah, that, that that is that is one of the best. Well, that's what watches I wear. I mean, four hundred and seven grams. Ridiculous. Uh, that's the brick, <laughs> though, right? That's the that's is that the the brick is the offshore, correct? Well, you can get the actual um, roll oak, and you can get the roll yeah. oak offshore. Yeah, the, but when you when you say the four hundred and seven gram one, that's, that's the, the offshore. That's actually. the offshore. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think the actual um, Royal Oak is about three hundred and twenty three grams or something. <laughs> uh, it's the right. mini. It's the it's the paver. It's still heavy. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the cobblestone. Yeah, the cobblestone. So the, the Royal Oaks. The, the weight. <laughs> the, the weight in the offshore is still in the bulkhead. Um, so is in the head of the watch. So the head, yeah. it's a bit smaller in the actual Royal Oak. It's still a beautiful watch. It, it is. Look at they're beautiful watches. Yeah. Well, really we is. definitely move into your ballpark on the next one, James. We've. Uh, which is uh, we, we've seen we've we've moved into AP, but we, we've talked about the uh, the offshore, and I think uh, 
The next one definitely is, is in your uh, ballpark. Oops. No. Oh, I got the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, it, Tom. Just... Have you started drinking early? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he loaded so many of them up. The and already, yeah, they're so. hard to... The Royal Oak Offshore. Okay, hold on. Let me go find it. Uh, Ask me what the key to comedy is. What's, What's the key? Oh, there it is. Okay, my apologies. Yeah, is, right is your Casio Oak two tone there on your wrist, JCB? <laughs> two tone, yeah, black, no, black and white. No, yeah. That's yeah. two tone, is it? Yeah. Um, oh, this well, is it, it, um, it won't be long until Casio have done a two tone. Uh, <laughs> there Casio. we go. There oh. we go, James. This is more your territory. Yeah, that this looks is, cool. This is a beautiful piece. I know, I why things coming up? ID guy. ID guy's joint. Yeah, look. I mean, the, I think the offshores they come in a that they, they do two tone and different colours, and they really do uh, a lot of amazing. Well, off, offshores more, more my style because I'm, I'm a bit wild, as you know. And they well, do the yeah, reverse Borneo. too, right? They they do uh, they do the two tone in reverse where the case is gold and the mm -hmm. bezel, at least on the diver, they do. They that. do indeed. Yep. And they do it, in, and they add a lot of different color palettes to it as well, as you know, in S. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, I'm not to everybody's liking, but um, it's, certainly I love them. It's a yeah. beautiful watch, no it doubt. Is not much yeah. to, to hate about this stuff, yeah. Yeah. That, I think I think um, Blue Shit would love the blue dial, and I think JCB, that's a bit of you, isn't it? Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, if, I, if I'm if i I'm doing two-tone, it's it's something like this. <laughs> yeah, it's got your think, blue and your black. Uh, well, I think the thing that works for me in the two-tone, um, well, let's just, I mean, the concept of two-tone, right, if we think about that from the start, like the first thing you think about is more that, you know, the older gents sort of, you know, like a two-tone Datejust or a two-tone Saab or, you know what I mean? You generally, like what we were saying earlier, you you associate that with a more of a an older gents style watch. But when you've got these modern designs and use of material and it all just comes together really well, I mean, this is this is amazing. Like, so it's just done so well. It's just amazing. I'm, I, could rock not... them and you, I could rock something like this easy. I'm not crazy about the strap that the um, that the example on the on the AP website uses, but they make uh, it would be better with uh, leather like this. But they make a really nice two tone with uh, rose gold and well pink gold and chocolate as the um, as the bezel, and that looks yeah just amazing. Yeah, I, I really like this one. I like the fact that it it comes on a strap rather than a bracelet, full bracelet. And you see, you've just got those two those two um, rose gold links just uh, just poking out. Really nice finish. Neo, what do you reckon? Would you rock this sort of two tone, mate? No, no. but I do like this watch. Yeah. I'm, 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 just gold in general, like uh, it's just too flashy for my personal taste and my lifestyle. Yeah. You know, the, the only two tone that I really like is I'm very I'm always torn between the bluesy and uh, the blacky. I mean, is that how we call it the black and gold? <laughs> one? Um, black and gold, maybe. Black and uh, gold submariner. Uh, Bumblebee. Black or something. Submariner, you mean? Yeah. I, I do I do like the offshore Ooh. over the Royal Oak. Um, I, I like the way they do their chronos on the offshore, but I, I, I don't need gold around the case for this. Yep. All right. So. Yeah, well, the next one, which is the uh, AP Remastered, is the one that is my favorite AP out of all of them, I think, to be honest with you, um, for a two-tone watch. I'd rather go that than okay. Now I got the right one. Now we're talking. This this <clears throat> uh, this is my favorite rather than the Royal Oak. This is a 1940s uh, design and it's uh, limited to 500 pieces. 
and this just smashes it out of the park for me. Yeah. It just, uh, it's beautiful, just no doubt. Am amazing, beautiful. Check, check those lugs out. I mean, those lugs are amazing. Yeah. They're like Vacheron Constantine lugs, aren't they? They thing? are. Yeah, they're just beautiful. I mean, it really, it really sets, sets the tone of it being 1940 Star Wars, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, to me, this is the... Uh, for a lot of these companies, this was the, the heyday of their uh, dress watches. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know AP is not really known for their dress watches anymore. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, some of them just over the years have really been horrible. But this one is just, it's so well executed. Um, yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Well, this is actually a three-tone watch. So you've it got like... Easy, the, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yellow, yellow gold on the dial, pink gold, gold case, and then the lugs uh, would be done in white gold. I would assume. That, or that's a that's a contentious issue, though. Do you con do you include the dial as part of the um, two toneness of it? Not really, but here because it's gold, so I th I'm just sort of throwing yeah, throwing it out there. Yeah, yeah, supposed. Know. It's yeah. like a metallic. It, work, yeah. it, wor it works with the whole combination, doesn't it? It wor really works with the whole watch. Uh, you're right with the uh, that sort of champagne dial. Really works with the whole watch. It's a contributing factor, definitely. Yeah, this looks. Cool. I mean, again, it would never fit into my life title, but it, it, it looks very cool. It's a beautiful watch. Absolutely yeah. stunning. But they were a limited edition. They only made so many of these. Yeah. Um, I just want to, uh, not that I was ignoring uh, everybody in the chat, but uh, uh, welcome um, Forb and Colossus and, and Justin R, ID guy. Uh, welcome, Megan. Always good to see you. Th thank you uh, for joining us as always. Yeah, welcome, um, Forb and Megan. Good to see you all. Yeah, and Rick on watches. Uh, yep, it, Rick. You, Thomas, he loves this watch. Yeah, I mean, it's a stunning watch. Beautiful, it really is. Nefarion uh, threw out an interesting comment there, where uh, salmon would have been uh, nice. What do you guys think of that? Salmon I think, dial. I think this you? contrasts really well. This this yellow with the mm -hmm. rose gold. I don't know what I, you think, Anna. I I, I think. As nice as salmon dials are, I think here, unless they would have color matched it perfectly mm. with the gold, it just would have been off, right? Yeah, and I given like, that, I like luxurious and yeah. gold. And and given that dials w will age differently than the gold around it, right? So it's going to start. If it was a salmon dial, it would start off looking off. Yeah. And then it would get worse as time goes by, right? And this is the type of watch that you expect yeah. to keep for a long time in your in your collection. And I think it would just end up looking horrible over the years. So. All right. Uh, so, so we'll go from one Holy Trinity to the, another Holy Trinity. We'll go to a Patek Nautilus. And... <laughs> And uh, we got we got a bit of a theme of chronographs running with us at the moment. We do, Thomas. We do. Yeah. Perfect for JCB. He is the he's the chronograph king. Yeah, this, <laughs> he is this, indeed. In, you, in is your the, honor, JCB. The fifty nine eighty one AR. This is the rose gold Nautilus that's available at present. Looks looks really nice. I think. I don't know what you think, JCB. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, I'm just trying to get my head around it. Like it's there's it's um yeah I'm just trying. It's just sinking in. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a lot going on in the bezel sort of crown guard area and the pushes. Um, but overall, as a piece, yeah, it's it's cool. Look, I'm just not a fan of the the Nautilus. Let's be honest. It's just not my favorite mm -hmm. design. I think like just as a as a watch and then. And also, and this is going to sound ridiculous, but all the hype around it just makes me hate it even sure, more. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm with but you. I'm with you. I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. yeah, but leaving leaving all that aside, yeah, I mean, it's um, yeah, look, it's okay. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not. It's it's not my favorite watch in the world. This one here, but um, this one in the steel chrono would probably 
be better. And I'm sure you guys had a look at the, the white gold one uh, on the news section um, if you did. But yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. The, uh, two tones just not doing it for me with this right. one. I, and, I mean, it's interesting that you talk about the crown guards and how it's, there's a lot going mm -hmm. on. I, I do think it looks very weird from the side and mm -hmm. from the back. And I know what people are going to say, right? They're going to say, well, you know, it's a watch, right? As long as it looks nice from the front. But I think once you get to this level of horology and this pricing, yeah, that's supposed to be the whole point, right? That every single angle of the watch yeah. looks amazing, right? And you look at it from the side of the crown and the back, and it looks like, this was like an afterthought, right? They just took like whatever normal model they had and they bolted on like yeah, all, right. all yeah. kinds of different colors, right? Which, which I think you, it's not something you expect, right? Like from at, at this no, price, you, you, you should, yeah. should look at the back. It looks look unfinished for a luxury watch. And, yeah, exactly. Right. And again, it's, if this was a Seiko for like $500, fine. Right. Mm -hmm. But no, at this price range, either. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was gonna say i'd you guys saying the pushes feel like an afterthought i think if the imagine if the pushes were in um white gold or whatever it might make it look a bit better because it's unbalanced when you have a look at it from front on um because you have the the, the gold those two gold pieces on the right hand side but if they had have made that in white gold then it would have just they would have the pushes would have just sunk into the background a little bit and you'd have that more balanced look to the front that's a really good point jcb yeah if they put mm. if they made the pushes out of white gold rather than uh, rose gold it'd take the contrast away and it really emphasize the shape of the uh watch yeah that would have changed that would change it heaps i reckon just that little change would make a big deal and yeah, the, very, the, very good the, point the blue dial looks out of place also mm -hmm. it's just like i like blue dials right but on this one there's just so much going on that it looks like yeah like, like this would have been great with their more slate gray mm -hmm. type of dial agreed, yeah, right agreed. but here it's just or a chocolate even a, like anything but but blue blue is just mm. looks like one color too many right and yeah. and you know what else? I, I know people are gonna say, uh, you know, you're being ridiculous, but you're being ridiculous. <laughs> when <laughs> when you look at it, I yeah, I agree. But when you look at it from the back, right, on top of having all of those colors on the back, right, it looks ridiculous on the back. It, it, at least put a rose gold rotor. Right. 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 Because now I look at the back and it really looks like they you can't unsee that now yeah they they, they they went to the factory and said like what do we have on hand like the, like this okay just slap it on right and again i'm not trying to be too hard but this is a watch where everything should be perfect exactly right? when yep. they designed this they should have built the first one the prototype and somebody should have looked at it and said no, like, you know, we're padded. We don't make something like this, right? Like, go back to the drawing board and make it better. Yeah. I, I think agree. at the best of times, the bracelet on the Nautilus looks like a toy anyway. Well, we've got quite a few wow. bracelets coming up which match this, James. So there's going to be a lot of toys. <laughs> you choose your good, the bad, or the ugly. You can, you can say, don't be shy. <laughs> ugly I'm was sorry. that an ugly was that an ugly watch or a bad watch um actually it, from the front it actually was not a bad watch i think it actually with the blue and the two-tone i thought it was quite reasonable well we've, we've had a uh, two holy trinity watches we've had ap and patek and now we've got to vacheron which is our oh, third holy do, trinity do I watch now or later <laughs> this, 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 we'll this be here one, for a while if you're confessing james i just this you want me to give away all my secrets Chad, okay i'll start <laughs> talking about yours in, in next <laughs> yeah we'll be here all night <laughs> yeah you and i combine mate yeah. this show will turn to a marathon <laughs> and what's your what's your phrase for the overseas it's a bit too 
Vatican. Uh, Vatican. Vatican. There we go. Which which one is this, Thomas? The Vashron Overseas. Yeah, I was looking at this um, last night actually, and um, yeah, I didn't mind it. I think the two tone in the Overseas uh, looks pretty cool. It's still Vatican. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're holy enough yet, Jason, to have one. Oh, come on, mate. I'm an angel compared oh, to us. To, okay. Compared to most people that wear these things. <laughs> <laughs> you're an angel, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one has now been discontinued, I think. So I'm cheating a bit here, but this one is still on sale in a shop. And it must be in... Uh, the Middle East is a shop because I can't read anything that it says on the oh, website. This is this uh, is even worse than the, this is even worse than overseas. I quite Leather like band. this to be honest with you. I quite like what they've done with the uh, bezel. The fact that it's just a bezel that's gold. It's, it's, it's actually it's gold, isn't it? It's actually yellow gold or champagne yeah, gold. Yeah, um, it's a rose gold, I think. I think it or you, to me. I'm, I yeah, couldn't read. That's I a couldn't. really bad picture if it's rose gold. I, I, I don't know. Look, I, I, I think. Looks champagne that, gold. Yeah, I, I think it's the same as the Nautilus we just saw. It's not. Yeah. And and I really really like those wa these watches right now. I really like Vesho and I really like the overseas. I, I really like them. I if think this we're, is still in stock. You, this one, you want a huge discount on this one. <laughs> yeah, well, he, here's the thing, right? I think this is a, an incredibly bad example of this watch. And I think it would have to be... I, I'm not saying that at 90% I wouldn't be interested. But what I'm saying is that at 80% off I wouldn't be interested. <laughs> Right, it's it's, oh, it's, it's, you're it's being, really you're, not you're that. being worse than me. I thought I was being generous at seventy percent off. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it, look, it, it's really not. It, it, it's a very I, f I find like it's a very bad example of that watch. Like like the 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 the, yeah, uh, the standard the one with yeah. the with the blue dial or you know the the one with the brown strap. It's to me a, it's such a nice watch. This one totally ruins it. It's very, it's very weird. The the hands, the bezel, mm. the crown, the tight position. It's, it, it's it's the same thing as when we looked at that green AP a few weeks ago. Like this, this one makes it look like a fake vessel, right? It's it's weird. It's uh, I really don't like it. What do you think, blue shirt? It's weird. I, I agree, and I'm I'm usually a uh, uh, an overseas fan, um, but I, I'm with NS. It, it, it it's a little it's a little too weird for me. JCB. Yeah. Oh look, the fact that it's a chrono as well is just making my brain explode. There's just so <laughs> much. You know what I mean? Like, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the dial, and there's just so much going on. It's so busy. Like Have you I seen think. This draft? Yeah, the, the hands, yeah. The, the, it's the, just yeah. The gold hands, the gold uh, on the indices, it's just that that little gold hand for the seconds. It's just... It, oh. I don't know. Imagine if this was not a chrono, I think it could work. If you just had the plain um, dial, Maybe. It, would, it, would Maybe. Be, it, would, it would work. But Ooh, with this... It yeah, it's, I mean... With the, the chrono, it's just... It, it, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it work, but... Yeah, no, it's, no, it's always it, you it, pulled out an ugly mother there. <laughs> oh, too, too Vatican for everyone. It's, 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 this, mate, I don't think the Pope would even wear this. This is like, you know, <laughs> this is like going to a Lamborghini dealership and saying, Can I get it in light brown? Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yes. Very good exactly. Very good. good analogy. <laughs> Brilliant, NS. I, lo yeah. I love the fact NS called it eighty percent off, and he still wouldn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, I look at ninety percent yeah. off. I would buy it to resell it. <laughs> yeah, right? uh, then I know, uh, because at ninety percent off, I know I'm going to make money. Right at right. eighty percent, I'm not sure I might lose money. <laughs> yeah. Finally, somebody who's more harsh about discount than I am. I wow. So good, bad or ugly. 
Ugly. Ugly. Uh, yeah, ugly. I, I ugly. This is an uh, unanimous ugly on this no, one. Ugly on this oh, I'm just going to go bad. I'm just no, gonna go this bad. is a bad ugly. Bad ugly. Bad ugly. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is actually horrific. Uh, yeah. Okay, then. We'll move oh, on. I would just agree with that. Okay, uh, Thomas, you finally got, you pulled out the ugly. Let's, let's, get, let's get a good uh, one, mate. Come on, a good one. We'll move on. We'll move on. We've had the Holy Trinity, and we'll move on to a classic, which everyone knows, which is the... Uh, the Rolex Cosmograph. Yeah, this is. A, I, I like the the Daytona two tone. Uh, are you gonna pull up the black dial? Please give me the black dial. Come on, boom. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So yeah, I can I can see a lot. This is very fashionable with a lot of women, isn't it? Yeah. As well. My wife loves this piece. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this cool. this is. I don't, I don't like Daytonas for the most I'm part. I'm not a Daytona person either. Unless, but, neither am I. The, 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 the two-tone ones are some of my favorite. Yeah, my eyes yeah I agree, Neo. Otherwise. My wife loves this one, though. She absolutely loves yeah. it. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one quite a bit. It's easier to read than most Daytonas, actually. Correct. Um, and yeah, it looks badass. Those two rings of gold around the subdials. Yeah. Love that. I know, guys. CP3. C3PO. C3PO. Love it. No, we're not looking at Jean. We're not looking at Jean yet, ID. (laughs) We'll get there. We'll get there soon. This one in the metal as well, Neo, when you're saying, like, around the the dial, like, on the details. I saw this one in a shop window, uh, like, a couple of years ago, and this thing just popped out of the window. It's just so amazing um, in the metal. Really cool watch. Yeah. If somebody were to say to me, you can, you can have a two-tone Daytona uh, for free, which one would you like? I would have a hard time picking out the one I wanted because I like so many of them. Yeah. I'm not yeah, a Daytona person. I'm though. not a Daytona person either, James. No. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Daytona, but like their, um, their two-tones are, I think, done very well. I agree, Neil. I, I, and And... Like like I said, and everybody else, I, I'm not the biggest Daytona fan in the world, but the two tones stand out to me as some of the better looking ones. Absolutely, yeah. I, yeah. I take a Moses Streamliner over this every day of the week, but this is a very good looking watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Look, it's I think they they do two tone well. Right, I think they've done it for such a long time. I'm mm-hmm. I'm not a I'm not a Daytona fan at all. Um but it's hard to fault this watch. It's done well. The color scheme works. Yeah. Um you know, it, and 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 it's interesting because it's, you know, this is a watch that is very similar to the one we just l- w- looked at before, yep. right? R- yep. Remove the the um the bracelet the two tone is executed in the exact same way, right? The the hands, the bezel, the crowns. Yet, it looks so much better. Right? Yep. Um, even if you'd put a strap on this, it'd look good. So this mm-hmm. is this is an example of uh, doing it well. And and as Neo said before, you know this is one of the few Daytonas that is actually easy to read because some of them. The hands just get lost on the dial. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Yep. So oh, taking yeah. it's very taking legible. It, you're right. Yeah, taking away the factor of resale value. I mean, this one comes in at fourteen thousand pounds to seventeen thousand dollars. I mean, hmm. if we look at the next watch, Wait. would you would yeah. you would you spend more money on the next watch? If you if you were if, if taking out the consideration of resale fact value, of course you're going to get more for the for the Rolex. But would you spend more on this next watch? This one comes in at seventeen thousand pounds. I mean, look at this. This is no, copying the this is copying the Nautilus, the Nautilus, the Nautilus bra- it's a Nautilus bracelet on an IWC. Um, Portuguese yacht club. If, yeah, if all watches were worth a dollar, I would take the Daytona over this. 
I'd have to go with Neo on this one, Thomas. I, I'm taking yeah. the Daytona over me, this. Me too. Me yeah. too. This, I mean, th this one is really, really not that nice looking, I guess, is the it's, nicest it's, way I'd do. I'd yeah. say it. It's, yeah. I'm, IWC doesn't grab me at all. Yeah, look, there. It, this watch is pretty simple, right? There, there was There was no need to make this watch, right? The no. world... <laughs> yeah, interested. exactly. Um, I, you know, I and, and I like some AWC, IWCs, right? But really, and you know, on top of that, you put Yacht Club, right? On that watch, it's and, pretty and, and freaking it's pretentious. Yeah. Yeah. And it's where it's like a six bar watch, right? Like what? So what it's, not even, it's not even a Yacht Club. It's not, it's not even a watch you'd wear to Yacht Club or on your boat. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. And th th this watch is just it. Plus, look again. I I hate to sound picky, but that red hand. Is, why, right? Right. Yeah. There's no reason for it. Yeah. No, the red hand. Jay said he loves red hands on watches, though. Yeah, but why uh, on this one? Like, like, man. like this watch. This watch should not exist. You're, you're not yeah, feeling this one either. I want right? seventy percent off this watch. Sorry. You're not feeling this one either, JCB, are you? No, I'm not feeling this one at all. This is just, it's just, um, there's Ugly. just so much going on here. Yeah. I, I, and I, and generally, I, I love the Portuguese line. Um, and, you I know, these, the pilot line. yeah, I mean, IWC designs are awesome, but when you mess with it so much like this, it's just, it's, yeah, no, it's just way too much for me. Plus, I can't deal with that. It's a bad day this day, I think, JCB. Yeah. Plus, yeah, why? I, I think so. Why would you have that crown guard with those total and with those totally exposed <laughs> pushers? Pushers, right? Yeah. It makes no sense. It I makes know. no sense. Yeah. The, this watch has like so much that's bad about it. It's it's is, is it's, this scrap yeah. it's like a desperate. Punk? It's like a desperate attempt to cobble together as many I, elements from different watches as possible. Like, like you know that, 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 that Moser. Like, 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 you know that Moser where they copied all these other watches, right? Mm -hmm. And they did that for fun and to sort of poke fun at the industry, right? Like, yep. like, like IWC was serious when they made this watch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> think about I, it. I, I think this is was a desperate gamble um, to try and get some some market share. And for, uh, from what? From the yacht club? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know. Good battle I with me. I'm tipping know. this. This will end up in the grey dealer's hands at uh, seventy percent off. Yeah, yeah, good battle with me. This yeah. one, ugly, ugly. Uh, you it's know, that's another bad ugly for me. I would never yeah. Yeah. Take a search for this watch at the grey dealers, but you may be right. Mm. You may not be able to make your 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 money back at ninety percent off on this one. No, you won't. <laughs> that, that, that's for sure. You know, if you, if you go to seventy percent off or eighty percent off, you mean you can you can actually wear it and have some fun with it. It's got a nice case back. No, you you know what this watch is for? I just figured it out, right? You know, like when you go to a private club, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not wearing a jacket, they'll loan you a jacket. Right. This is the loner watch at the club. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but, but hear me out. Hear me out. This the reason why this is the loner watch is that it's so horrible that they're sure that people aren't going to forget giving right. it back. They're going to give it back when yep. they leave. Right? That's like, a very good one. Yeah. <laughs> ID guy says it's an IWC yacht toner master. <laughs> That's yeah. the best line of the day. Yeah, yeah. Good one. Uh, good one, ID guy. Uh, well, yeah. okay. Let, we'll move on. Let's move on to the move on to the next one. The, the next one, the next one comes in at half the price, uh, eight thousand pounds, and I really like this one. To be honest with you, I really like the dial. It's a it's a Carl F. Boucherer Heritage Biconfax Annual, and this has actually got a little annual calendar on it. So it's, it tells the month at four o'clock. Little date section at four o'clock, and it's got a big date in the middle of twelve o'clock. And I, I quite like it to be honest. I like that bi compact layout, and uh, yeah, I like it as well. Yeah, I, think, I think these guys do some great watches, but unfortunately, their resale is quite poor. Yeah, it, it, it's a nice watch. I mean, I think it's yeah. it's a classic dress chrono. Um, 
Yeah, I'm looks not sure good. Two tone though, it's not, not really featuring two tone the best places. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's weirdly executed. I, I think this is a watch I would look more and uh, look better as you know a stainless steel watch or something Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Absolutely, I, poorly, I, I think it's poorly executed as far as two time. Just a, it, been basically a, a non bezel and a couple of pushes in a crown. Yeah, yeah it, it's missing the mark as far as a, a two tone watch for sure. It, uh, the, it's basically it's replacing yeah. four parts on a watch to make it two tone. Yeah, I, I think the other thing that makes it look weird is um, the the date and month wheels yes. being black. That's yeah. It just stands out. It's a little bit weird. Um, it almost looks like that was pulled off of a uh, a sport watch or something. Um, yeah, it, it, I've never it, seen a, a month wheel at four thirty before. I haven't that, either. No, that's it's, uh, really I found strange. Interesting. Well, now you have. Now I have. <laughs> so, <it's, laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, the two tone just yeah it doesn't work for me on this one. If it was no. all gold, it, that would be it would right. Be I agree. Much JCB. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. I really really like the font they use for the six and the two, but mm -hmm. I don't get how it fits in with the rest of the letters. They use, the rest of the numbers too. That's bugging me more than anything. Is I really love that six and I really love that two, but like I don't see it in like the four, five, seven, eight. Yeah, and uh, plus they use the that very. Cla a classic type of font that would have looked so nice with the uh, cutoff numerals. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's look, uh, Thomas. They, it's they not really a bad watch. They really compacts yeah. very well, unfortunately. Yeah, it, it's it's not a bad watch. It's just not. They, they have great watches in their range, though. I mean, they really mm -hmm. do. They're underrated as far as a brand, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, they they definitely do better than this. I would say. Yeah, um, we don't we don't see a lot of them. We don't talk much about them. But I think if you actually do, 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 dive into their catalog, you'd be quite surprised what you find. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the Monero flyback is a, a really nice watch that they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, nice I was watch. just going to say that one, Thomas. The Monero um, is awesome. Yeah, it's I a really lovely like watch. watch. Beautiful, yeah, it's a lovely watch. watch. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, on that note, I'm really going to have to cut and run. Oh, uh, great, great talking to all lovely. you guys. And yes, you, yeah, you, you pulled some great lines today, mate. Yeah. Loved it. <laughs> and, uh, Good bad. Yeah, and bye well, to everyone in the chat. Yep. Okay, Take care, care Ennis. Take, Take care, care my friend. See, See you next bye. time. See you, Ennis. All right, so we'll uh, we'll, Yo, we'll move on to a brand one. that move on to a brand that JCB is a bit of a fan of. And, uh, uh, that, that wouldn't happen to his death, would it? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I, I must have become a bit of a fan as well. JCB's having a bit of influence over me. This is, <laughs> I don't know whether he'll what? like this one, though. This uh, is a two-tone yeah. one. He, I'm not sure. I don't think he liked it by the sound of it already. I just picked Ooh. up one, so you uh, never know. This is the 18 karat gold uh, El Primero chronograph. It's a, with rose gold. It's a, it's an open heart model, as you can see. Oh no, I won't like the open heart. Yeah, I, 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 I like the El Primero open heart. Um, let's have a look at. Yeah, leave that live pick up for a sec. Let's have a look at it. Um, yeah, it's just okay, I guess. It's not really jumping out at me. You know, every, everybody um, who's on the screen today, we sent you some swag. Uh, now is the time to open that bag. There's, there's a barf bag in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, this, just leave these alone, you know. Don't don't mess with them. The original, just the El Primero. Yeah. Just, 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 just leave it in steel, man. Seriously. I, I, I'm with you, JCB. I, I don't see there being a reason to do this in two-tone. Yeah, no. Really not. Uh, and, and it's a fantastic watch, but and I'm not even open heart. Though, I'm sorry. Yeah, they shouldn't yeah. have done the open heart. I mean, it's, they're obviously highlighting it with the gold, and it's uh, it's a it's, it's a highlight of the highlight of the gold. Uh, you know, There's um, silly circles going on on the watch for my liking. Yeah. One one thing that's going to blow your mind, right, is this. Have a look at the blue subdial. That's your chrono minutes counter, okay? Now, mm -hmm. now have a look at you get 
have a look at the 15 minute marker, which is the one at the bottom, and then you go to 16 minutes, and then what happens at 17 minutes? Like, what right. happens after 16 minutes? Like, how do you count the chrono minutes, you know, between about 17 and, I don't know, 20, 25 or something? Right. You, you pull out your smartphone. <laughs> like, but it, what, I'm, what I'm getting at, like, this is a chronograph, right. and, and it doesn't perform the primary function of a chronograph because of that design. It just makes no sense to have an overlapping subdial on that okay, chrono yeah, minute counter. Okay, yeah, but they fixed that in newer versions. Not in the open heart Neo. They have in the oh. um in the, yeah in the in the um, Chrono Master they have, but not in the open heart. It's still got this overlapping thing. And I just, so just should be asking for a discount. Like you're saying JCB. Yeah, basically, I um, want like ninety percent off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I just mean, I, I, I spent it's just years. weird. I spent about like almost two, two and a half years trying to find the tricolor that had the subdials correctly in the mm -hmm. US. Um, and as soon as I found it, I was like, okay, I'm buying it right now. If you have it, yeah. in stock, I want it right now. Because, yeah, for a long time, it was hard to find uh, uh, the dial with the subdials that worked. Yeah, they make this version of the open heart in a blue, like a full blue dial, like a sunburst blue mm -hmm. um, in a stainless steel case. I've got to say, it is um, just a cracking piece. Like, I was so close to pulling the trigger. Like, even with the overlapping subdials, I was just super close. But it just got to me. I was like, there's no way I can buy a watch that has those overlapping subdials when it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Like, it's form over function. And I just can't, like, I'm not down with that. I think yeah. though, JCB, most people wouldn't pick up on what you've just what you've just acknowledged and the fact that yep. most people don't, are not using or using the chrono ever and it's just a it's just the aesthetic they're looking at. Exactly, you're exactly correct, James. That's exactly right. Like most people who are buying it, and I've spoken to people online and they're uh, and they're just like, Yeah, don't care. I don't use the chrono. They're just like, I don't even use the chrono, I don't care. Mm -hmm. And watching Trey <laughs> point out, notice steel colour crown and pushers as suggested for the Nautilus. So uh, ra ra the pushers are steel coloured rather than gold coloured. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it emphasises the uh, gold on the watch a bit more. We'll move right. on to a, another zenith, and uh, this one was uh, suggested by uh, well, it was a uh, one that Megan put in the Discord. And uh, I thought I'd include it. It's not; it's discontinued now, but uh, there's, they are available. But I looked at this and I, I thought, hmm, not for me. No. Yeah, no, not for, uh, uh, that's a hard pass for me. Oh yeah, I know the watch. No, I mean, it, it also brings up the the debate about what is two tone. How do you define the two tone yeah. watch? Is it just a splash of gold on the dial, or is it a uh, a bit? Of, you know, is it yeah. the fact that the crown is gold, or the hands are gold, or the indices are gold, or I, do you I need how much how much gold it. how much gold do you need on a watch for it to be two tone? I think I think I think as men, I think we look for. I think oh, I do certainly. I think I look for subtle two tone. If I'm going to have two tone, I would buy a watch with more subtle two tone effects than the actual two tone you've been talking about earlier in the show with watches. Um, how do you feel on that, JCB? Uh, look, I don't, I, I don't, I don't mind it having. Um, it just needs a little bit of, um, you know, metal uh, just to just to just to. Um, break up the the color scheme. I think mm -hmm. that's that's really all it needs. Yeah, I mean, I'd I'd, I'd put this in the two tone category for sure. Um, but for me, the thing that's not doing it here is those end links. Um, yeah. But otherwise, it's I, I I I don't mind it. I reckon it's cool. Yeah. And this this um, watch, by the way, guys, was going for um, three and a half thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah. and and, and I was, this was going at a great dealers and this was going for three and a half thousand dollars. Wow! Wow! Well, that's certainly that's different deal. from the, certainly different from the fourteen thousand dollar price tag that's on the uh, yeah, next right. to it. So she's got a contact where they clear out um, discontinued watches and wow, um, 
that, that was going three enough. Three, I think it was three two ninety or something. That's wow. what I'm them out for. That's a big They're difference. Still available. Yeah, big difference. So most of most of these watches at this particular place are 70, 80, 90 percent off. Wow. Brand. I don't know well, if you guys are going to bring up um, the Breitling. We'll, um, yeah, we'll we'll move on. We'll later. move on from this one to Mr. Breitling himself, yeah. which is uh, yeah. James, James, and we'll move on to. No, no, uh, that's JCB. He got me started. Oh well, <laughs> well Mr. <laughs> Mr. Breitling himself. Him JCB. We'll, we'll, we'll move on to the Breitling Chronomat B01, which I think this is a yep. lovely one with this Rouleau bracelet. This, I uh, I agree. Uh, this, I think I, I've uh, seen this watch in person, and it's yeah, really I've nice. Got this watch. Really nice. Do you really, yeah. James? You, you got this I've, one? I've got the B01, yeah. Not the blue dial, though. Black dial. Yeah, this is a steel and 18 carat rose gold again. M rose Mrs. gold Arthur's featuring. Got, Mrs. Arthur's got the. Um, I'm not, not, she's got one of these as well. The mm -hmm. Rose gold. Yeah. Yeah, I like I mean, this one. I reckon uh, probably I would have put a different colored dial on it, though. Okay. Um, maybe more of a. Maybe more of a. a Slate, slate gray, just to match the gray tones. Right. Um, but overall, but still, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. I thought you were going the blue dial, JCB. Yeah, no. Generally, I like blue. I think blue dials work better with yellow gold for some reason. Like on on blue shirts, bluesy, you get the blue and the yellow gold. Um, it tends to work just a little bit better. I find with rose gold, um, I like more of the earthy sort of tones. Sort of greys and browns um, tend to work better with rose gold to my eye, but that's just me. Um, but as Blue Shirt said, I've seen this one in the metal. Uh, so, I mean, I've seen it in in the, in the window, and it actually does work in the metal. It looks really good. It's a really nice watch. It's a great watch. Yeah, gorgeous. That Rouleau bracelet is just stunning. Yeah, I think that, it worked, that, that bracelet works really is just killer. Yep. It works really, really well with the design of the watch, I think, and it just finish it up, finishes it off beautifully. And the way that they've uh, they've done it quite subtly, the way that they've in integrated the um, gold uh, elements into the bracelet, I think it's it's really nice. Well, they, they, these watches that Brawling are producing, I mean, um, they're, just, they're just amazing. I mean, they really are great quality watches. I mean, I think they're this first class. I mean, they think they're giving all the other watches a run for their money right now. Yeah. Blue Shirt, if you can, if you, if you haven't got it already lined up, um, mm -hmm. and if you can, it's the, the Super Ocean Heritage. That's coming up, my friend. It's, it's coming, coming up. up. It's coming it's up. Coming up. It's, in no worries, yeah, cool. it's in the next set of five. It's in the next set of five. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll. Uh, um, the best yeah. part about this watch, besides, uh, you know, the the watch itself, um, I, I'm really loving this bracelet, um, and uh, yeah. it really feels good on the wrist. And uh, you know, yep. this isn't my favorite color combination. I, I'm not a huge rose gold guy, um, but 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 this is a good looking watch. And I like it a lot. And the bracelet looks so much better in the metal than what you're it seeing does. here on these fenders. Yep. Like it, it looks yeah. a million times better. Yeah, I agree. So when good. actually worn on wrist, it looks really nice. Yeah. All right. And, so we'll. Uh, uh, oh, we lost. I was say, they, they brought. They also brought out the um, the super chronomat. Um, they did. You got in, and that's in. They do that in two tone, like a similar color mm -hmm. color scheme to that one as well. Cool. So the next watch came out a couple of years ago, and uh, it's it's more wrapped gold rather than um, real solid solid gold. It's the Tudor Black Bay Chrono Stone Gold. This one, I like this watch. Uh, uh, my eyes, man. I actually, man. I actually like this watch. <laughs> Um, oh, no. and, and, I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't fall into the uh, solid gold category, but I quite like it to be honest with you. How's it going to wear? How's it going to? How's it going to go long term? Not well at all. It's I not well know. in the short term. Uh, it, it's not my yeah. favorite, but it's not, and, and I don't think it's terrible. Um, 
you know, th they had a they had a cut corner somewhere to keep it, you know, price competitive. Um, you know, because otherwise this would be, you know, a fourteen thousand dollar watch. It looks um, fake though. It looks really fake. It's really not that bad in person. Um, I think it's got. Um, so you were saying blue shirts are cut cost down. So this has got the gold wrap. Um, it's wrapped, links, right? Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. But it's a it's a, it's a thick uh, it's a thick layer, a thick layer. And, yeah. and it could withstand up to about eight polishings, which is even on a on a on a non a regular gold watch or a regular stainless steel watch, you're not going to ever want to polish anything more than eight times. So it, it's not like you're going to ever wear through that, that, that layer of gold. Um, okay. uh, and the bezel is solid gold and, and the pushes are solid gold. It's, it's just, you know, the bracelet is where they had a, is where they had to cut the costs. It's not terrible. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. What do you what are you thinking, Neo? Yeah, so, so he's on mute. He has nothing to say. You're not, oh. you're not, you're not a fan of this one, then. You're not a fan of this one. Should we move on? I, we can move I'm on. In, yeah. I'm not really a fan of two. I mean, I don't wear two tone really, to be honest. So, all right, we'll move on. We'll move on. I'm not, and I'm not a Tudor person. We've got the last of the chronographs here, which I, th I thought we'd try and give them a break, Tag Heuer. And we've, uh, I've included a Tag Heuer Carrera. Now, oh, this, Tag Heuer. this also is, it comes into what do you yeah. define as a rose gold yeah, as a -term watch? This is yeah. it's like, like the Zenith Stratos yeah. flyback. It's just got a bit of, a bit of yeah, gold on like, the like and and on the pushers. So it's, yeah. uh, right. It's very, it's oh. very low key two tone. That, that low key sure. yeah. two tone, yeah. That's well, this bad. is this this is the two tone that I that I like. Um, yeah, I like that and too. Thomas, sort of getting to your, getting to your question, I think it's about sort of defining two tone, right? And immediately when we talk about two tone, you imagine like a like a date just or a bluesy with the gold um, br gold going through the bracelet, right? That's sort of the traditional thing. But I think that when you do it like this where you've got subtle use of two-tone um you know done really tastefully and done nicely like this is where it's at for me like i can get into this type of two-tone um at, at this stage of my life i'm not really uh you know like a bluesy or a date just guy sure. just, just yet sure. but this is for me I, I love this sort of stuff the subtle stuff um and we'll have a look at it there's a few other pieces i think where it's like that but this works for me for sure i reckon this looks awesome they've done it really well yeah, nice. You know, uh, tag isn't always, you know, my favorite. Not only brand, but you know, their their some of their styling um, is not my favorite. I had, you know, I had a Monaco, and I, I love that. Um, but this this is nicely done. It, it's well executed. I I think. And it's very, uh, it's very subtle, like we said. So, black, black, black and rose gold um, color theme for me it really, work well, really works. Yeah, yeah. It work well, definitely. I'm more a rose gold person now than I am a gold person, to be honest. So, well, do you want to move on from the chronographs, and uh, we'll go on to a, a classic, which I think is an absolute classic, the Cartier Santos. Yellow, gold, and steel. This is a a favor of mine. Beautiful watch. Oh yeah! yeah. Again, classic. absolute classic. Better looking in in person. Um, Definitely better than the photograph. Yeah. Uh, when you actually wear one on the wrist, it looks it feels great. And this is a medium size. I mean, they do come in XL now and uh, mm -hmm. 40, 40 are they 42 millimeters the larger ones now um yeah, they, um, so yes yeah they have the um what they, what they call the larger one they call it something the 100 the the, or the xl or the right. xl yeah that's right and the, the 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 bracelet is absolutely brilliant um it is um it with is, the smart yeah. link you you can literally just um with the 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 the, the tip of your thumbnail um 
uh, push a, a, a button and the pin pops up but doesn't come out all the way. So um, uh, you can size it yourself without any tools. Uh, it's just really, it's a brilliant, uh, a brilliant design. Um, and that on the strap just looked awesome as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A classic, it, a classic 80s and 90s watch, I think. Is, is comes the, with a strap too, so it's really nice. Classic Wall Street watch. It's never going to go out of style, this watch. It, it's always going to no, no. I know lots of good. guys that still wear I know lots of guys that will actually still wear the, these on occasions. I mean, they're just so classic. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't wear one, but I know people who actually still wear them, and they just love them. <laughs> And if you watch any of the, the, the sort of those lifestyle gurus you know, on on YouTube, the men's lifestyle gurus, they still recommend these to people's collections. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is again not my style, but as a piece of art, way cool. Yeah, very cool. I, th I think the white dial really pulls it off as well. With the, it does. The, oh, the yeah, Roman yeah, yeah. numerals and. The Roman does. Numerals, the classic as well. There's a version with with a slate gray dial too that is really outstanding looking as well. I don't I don't think I recall seeing that one to be honest. Yeah, that's yeah, really sharp looking. My favorite part. I mean, the party. tank is instantly recognizable by anybody, really, isn't it? You, you see that mm -hmm. in the wrist from afar, yeah. in the restaurant in any scenario, it's instantly recognizable. So, well, well, looking at the Cartier on the seven. I think that's just so cool. Yeah, classic dress watch, really. This, I think, isn't it? It's a it is office watch. Yeah, lovely. So we'll move on to the uh, the divers, which is the uh, the next one. This is more of a sort of ID guy style watch, but in two tone. This is the Omega Seamaster three hundred. In two tone. I don't two think tone, it really yeah. it, it doesn't really work for me in two tone. I don't think no. it, it's a bit, of a bit of a weird one. It's a, oh, a, a, lovely, watch, a lovely watch, but it's a, a lovely watch in in all steel. But in two tone, it's a, mm. doesn't really oh. work. I don't do think. you do, do you guys think uh, this watch reminds me at least of the 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 two tone Sea Dweller? Where it really doesn't. I mean, it, it looks okay, but uh, I don't know. I take the sea dweller any day over this. I Would love, you, I, I, James? I personally love the sea dweller in two tone. Okay. Um, I think it's. it's I mean, it's, it's probably the only two tone watch that I would happily wear is the is the sea dweller. Okay. You know, and I, I, actually I, don't, I don't. I don't right. mind it. I, I think it's not too bad at all. Um, I, like the crown, I, the I reckon it's really... one of those ones that in the metal, um, it'll look a lot better than here on this render. I, I yeah, think. Yeah, I you think you're right. I think yeah. you're right, JCB. We're not giving it full justice, are we? Right. We're not, yeah, we're... I think so. Yeah, I reckon. I mean, generally with this style of older Seamaster, you you, you want to have it in the steel. But I think if it's done. No, the way it's done here, I think it's okay. I don't, I don't mind it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ID guy is, is pulling no punches. The, the dial looks reasonable. It's the bracelet and the crown that it, it, it deters me. But I think this watch is probably a little bit small for me. I, I would take the Seamaster, I mean, the Sea Dweller over this Seamaster. I yeah, ID guy, the sea say, ID guy saying he tried it on and it doesn't really work. Yeah. No zing. It's a lacking uh, zing. I, I have a good watch habit that uh, on, on like a leather bracelet, I think it would look awesome. Yeah, yeah, like black, black, black leather on, the NATO, on the NATO below, wasn't there? Which was yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Do you really think that I mean, two tone terrible. Look good on NATOs and so forth, though? No, I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't wear. I put it on black leather. I put on a black leather. Not yeah, NATO. a nice addressed leather, dressed yeah. leather watch. Yeah, but not, not, but not NATOs and those sort of things. I think yeah. I think a two tone is always a watch that needs to be dressed up, not dressed down. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not yeah. this is not the the worst looking two tone. It's not the greatest. I'd, I'd no. say it's kind of in in the middle. Um, not badly executed, but yeah, uh, it's not ugly. It's not no. ugly. It's it's it's. Not bad. It's probably 
it's on the fringe of being good. Well, we'll move on to the one that uh, JCB was pointing out, the um, Brightling Super Ocean Heritage. Oh, Roosevelt. The diver. Yeah. It's, well, look it's at this one. Roosevelt accents in it. It's not yeah. really Roosevelt, but this is a lovely watch, I think. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Half, half, half the price of the arm that we've just seen as well. I like this. It comes in black too, doesn't it, JCB? It does, yeah. That's the one I was thinking of, the black one. Um, and I mentioned it before, black and rose gold, the black and rose gold combo. Yep. If, you pull, if you can pull that one up, um, blue shirt, like that's th this is how I would do my two-tone. If I was going to get a two-tone watch, this is the sort of thing that I would get into. Um, it looks just much subtle. better in black. Yeah, it does. It, it looks way better in black. But, yeah, I was, you know, I was sort of saying before, like when I... You know, there's, there's two-tone, like a traditional-looking two-tone, um, and then you can get into it how they've done it nicely here, just with a few little details to to mix it up a bit, and I think it just really works really well. It's, it's you, awesome. You can pick these up at a reasonable price too, can't you, JCB, at the moment? Um, not, yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's you can hit well, up um, it's or something. It's something it's there. retailing for £4,600, so... Uh, yeah, you can walk in any any AD Thomas. You can walk in and um, like you should try it next time. Ask for a discount. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and they'll get like on a on a gold piece on a piece like this. You'd be looking at sort of twenty five percent off just straight off the bat. I would have expected twenty five percent without even asking, really. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, really really nice. I like this one a lot. Yeah, well, yeah so I got 30% off Brightling without pretty much pushing it too hard by buying multiple pieces. So it's pretty, yeah, pretty much looking. And in the UK, Brightling is um, managed by Watches of Switzerland, I understand, JCB. Yes. So yep, the Watches, Watches of Switzerland are always up for doing a deal. Oh, I've sat sure. with the owners a few times at a few dinners and so forth. I mean, those guys are just in, 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 interested in turnover and doing numbers, so they're always up, up for a deal. Yeah. yeah. But I saw some great well, deals recently on, on, on Joma's shop for the um, Super... Is it the Super Heritage line, isn't it? Super Ocean. Yeah, Super Ocean Heritage, yeah. Yeah, they were, they were like some super deals for around 3,000 US, three to 4,000 US. Yep. They weren't the, weren't the two tones, but they were certainly still well, great this, deals. This is a good one, you think, then? How good, the bad, new glee? You like this one? Yeah, I'm, uh, for me, yeah, really good. I agree. I, I think the Super Heritage, Super Ocean, the Super Open Ocean Heritage, yeah. I think it's a fantastic watch. We'll move on to the next one, then, which I think is a bad one. It's, it's the home. Oh, Omega, the Omega Seamaster Professional 300, steel and rose gold. I think we're getting Thomas's wish list here, JCB. <laughs> <laughs> so, take yeah. Thomas's now, wish this, list. I, uh, I don't like the look of this at all. Oh, that bracelet is just yeah. so nah. um, tempting, isn't it, JCB? Uh, oh, man. No. Yeah. Man, nah, I want that bracelet is... so much in my life. So this is a, I mean, it's an interesting one because this one, we're talk, kind of talking about divers and the concept of divers and like, you know, diver is the sort of super tall watch. But what, what I'm getting at is on the bluesy, right, it works. But on this one, it just doesn't really work. Like, it, you know, the concept of having gold on this um, SMP just does not, it just as a concept, I don't agree with it for some reason. I agree. Is, yeah. is there a chemist in the house to explain to us uh, why the Rolex rose gold is better than standard rose gold? And doesn't it have to do with the fact that uh, like chlorine will suck the copper out of this and it eventually will end up being regular yellow gold? Well, Omega have tried their Sedna gold, haven't they? I mean, they, this, is, this is what they're spruiking on the on this watch i mean then is, does that take care like like i don't know enough about the chemistry to, to know but but i, I mean no, man how much time is this going to be seeing chlorine though neo like really yeah this will be, what, what, what if you took a swim after work every day in your pool 
Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah. I if you think can it afford would... it, if you if you can afford a pool, like you can afford a better watch than this, I think. Oh, not necessarily. I mean, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people in a lot of countries have pool st pool standard. I mean, but a lot of people see pools when they see sea. Yeah. Not, not everybody lives in in England where you you see more winter days than summer. A lot of countries see have pools of standard. I mean, Australia, for example, pools are fairly standard. Give you an example. Um, oh, well, I, I got my, I got my facts wrong then. <laughs> I'm not a fan hate. of this one either, Thomas. I'm really not. I'm and uh, and 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 I, you know, I, I respect the standard Seamaster. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm not I'm not feeling this and not feeling it. No, and that 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 bracelet is what does it in for me. That non tapering bracelet just. I don't that, think anybody likes that bracelet, uh, do they? Blue shirt. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can even forgive the, you know, the, the, the Reese's peanut butter cup, uh, the yeah, helium escape it, valve. Yeah. Uh, you know, what? The, 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 it's so superfluous and, and it doesn't need to be there. I, I get why it's there. I could forgive that, but, but that bracelet that doesn't taper, that's just, it's ugly. You know, every it's once ugly. in a while I have, uh, uh, an urge to go look at the, quartz version of the seamaster remember mm -hmm. when they had those but it has yep, this yep. type of bracelet on it and immediately i'm like oh yep. no that's right i would just throw that bracelet yep. away yeah i would just throw this bracelet away yeah they make what? um ne neo they do the quartz in the the 2254 style of diver um and that comes on the speedy bracelet so have a look at that one if you yeah. are looking at a cheap well, I'm quartz. writing that down now. I'm writing that down yeah, now. Yeah, I, I think the reference number is actually 2264 because that's okay. the quartz one. Yeah, check that out, man. You might, you might want to have a look at that. Well, right. I, um, I chugged the next one in just for a bit of fun because it was it was £1,720. And it's, okay, obviously gold, it's obviously gold plated for that price. Correct. So, uh, I don't know what you think of this one. This is the Oris Diver 65. It does come with a yeah. bronze like bronze bezel with the Carl Brasher version, but I, I quite like the dial on this one, this uh, Fume sort of style. Yeah, it is. It's kind of nice. It's, it, a lot, yeah. I like this watch very much. Oh. So. Just let you yeah. think Just let you think what, what, what price you can get into this sort of look for. Obviously right. not solid gold, but... I, I like to go the coin bezel with the color tone difference. So I think, I think I've seen this watch before. It's a very smart looking watch. It's very cool. Love um, the dark is, color. Is, is, and this is, here's a question. I'm not sure, but is that actually, um, is that bronze, this one in the Diver 65? No, they do, they do, they do one with a bronze bezel. They do, they do a car yeah. a Diver 65 with a bronze bezel. I, oh, I, just, I, I chose this option without the bronze bezel because it had the colored dial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, cool. No, I like it. The, um, it's funny that, hang on a sec. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that dial is amazing. I mean, it's an amazing color, isn't it? It is. Yeah, lovely. Really nice. You, you wear this watch happily. I mean, you, I don't really consider this as much as a I mean, two-tone because you, your eyes are always going to go towards the dial. To the dial, exactly, James. Well said. Well and said. the dial is sort of memorizing, isn't it? It's like, wow. It's sort of half between vintage look and you know, don't really, you really, it's really confusing, actually. Yeah, I mean, because you don't, you don't see this color dial often if no. at all uh, oh, so, so it's very distinctive oh, very nice iris have got some really so we've got some really good pieces in their range i mean one of my favorite watches is still a d a, a, a rsd 26 swiss swiss air force watch um you know, they, they do some great collaborations they do some great watches um you could you could do a lot worse with your two thousand dollars than 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 yeah. than. Buy yeah, this, sure. But. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of these watches. I mean, once you, you get them, in they got well, especially these collaborations. They you can get them for twelve hundred US, thirteen hundred US sometimes. When they are just great watches, and they come packaged yeah. well, and you know, R RS do some great stuff. They really do. And they, once again, often we forget about them when we have talks and these sort of chats. I think RS just you know 
always reliable, always been around, and um, we forget about half the work that they do. Yep, agreed. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. Um, sorry, I was just going to say no, quickly before. Um, there's an AD where I go in to do my watch, um, my watch shopping at lunch times, or my my window shopping, mm-hmm. and they just hired a new young um, sales guy, and he wears something very similar to this. It's the two tone um, diver with I think it's a really super dark blue um, dial. And um, I, I just said to him, mate, what a great choice of a watch. Um, in the metal, it just looks really, really good. It's nice and slim as well, um, and, it, and it dresses up well with the suit with those little touches of, um, of, of, of color on there. It's really, really cool watch. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So the, the next one was uh, might split the uh, panel a bit because it, the brand it's made – by it's a Grand Seiko SBGE 248 <laughs> GMT. Oh my now god, they're, they're on, copied. James. Does, a, does a certain what does a certain watch buy a certain uh cr- brand with, with with a coronet springs to mind? That's a hard pass, boys. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 you know, I'm not a grand Seiko fan, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm passing you, on this one. I'll stay quiet here. I, you I know think I, I, this reminds me of a certain watch that, ha, ha, that is in the avatar of a, a, one of our panelists. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you'd be happy about that. No, 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 one, no, one, no one in the panel is wearing an Invicta. Come on. <laughs> but, but this this costs eleven thousand one hundred pounds. It's got yellow gold on it, and it's a uh, blue dial. It's a GMT spring drive. It's a. Uh, I mean, the answer is no, no, no. <laughs> right. I, I I like Grand Seiko, but I would say no. I would say no for I would say no for this one. To be honest, I, I, really, really, I wouldn't really buy like this that. with your money. I was yeah. saying no for this one because if we skip on to the next watch, you can see what this one is copying. You can see that. You have to bring in a big job by you, Thomas. No, you can see what this watch is copying, definitely. Oh, that, sorry, that was so bad. That, that was terrible, so Thomas. Bad. Thomas, you're bringing out some real <laughs> ugly. And there today. is. The there is what it's copying. Oh, it, it, no, not even close. For the same, for the same money, for the same money, eleven thousand. The, the Grand Seiko was eleven thousand one hundred. For eleven thousand four hundred and fifty, you can get this. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Brainer, get this. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's, 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 not, not, even, it's not, not even comparable. Yeah. Right. I don't. I don't I even like some mariners, but I love this watch. Yeah. And, and I'm with you, Neo. I'm not. Uh, I, I don't really care for the regular Submariner, but I, I. I just to this day, guys. Every time, every time I look down at my wrist, um, it, this watch makes me smile. It makes you smile. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's it's all, all about, that's man. All that matters, yeah. blue shit. Uh, yeah. this 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 watch is this is icon status. This watch for sure. This is, this is iconic, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This is classic. This is iconic. Can we look at the black one next to the blue one, though? Just for a second. Like, why don't we ever talk about the black one? <laughs> yeah, I, man, I'm with you, Neo. I like the black one um, a lot. I, like, it's a really nice watch. What, what, what do you mean by the black one? The, the, the black, black and right? white. They, they make, they make the, the <laughs> in a color other than blue. It comes in black. Yeah, it comes in black with, as well. With the, with the blue bezel? No, no, no. Oh, with no, the, no. With black the black bezel. bezel. Oh. Right there. See, he doesn't even know it exists. That's exactly. how. That's so how little. Talk that's, about it no one talks about it. Yeah. In YouTube world. What in two tones? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know that exists. My father, my father's got one. He <laughs> takes like ten years. You're a bit slow, mate. You're a bit slow off the mark, so. Sorry. Oh, I, I, I haven't you had your coffee, mate. Bluesy. I thought you were talking about bluesy. In, in there you go. Oh, so, no, yeah, I know that exists, of course. Yeah, yeah that's ten years. that's dope, man. Like either one, give me either one. Yeah, but I'll like, take I, but, I, but I'd rather have the sub, the, the sea dweller in the two. So it's it's forty three mils. What about the punters in the audience? Which do you prefer, black or blue dial? Mm, well, I'm a I, I'm I'm with JCB. I'm a black. I'm, I'm, I'm a blue. T- black. I go with the blue. To be honest with you, I'm with blue shirt. I would yeah. go with blue. Who's the other way? Yeah, bluesy all the way. 
It's such an icon. It's such an icon. It's such an iconic watch, James. I think it's just. It's you just, know, I just I, 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 I'll go on the record. Look, I, I just went on a rant uh, with uh, Anthony Gianni in the in the, uh, the the chat earlier. How I could care less what other people think about my watches, mm -hmm. but if I if it, if it were to come down to buying the blue Z or the black one, I would get the blue Z. I like I love them both, but I would get the blue Z because chicks love the blue Z more than they love the black one. <laughs> and now <laughs> when I'm sitting at the club, there, I want to have one ticks like. Well, that's a that's a good reason. Um, that's okay. That's a I'll pass you on that reason, Neo. That's cool. So, what's your what's your choice, JCB? Uh, you know what? Honestly, with this one, I would go the bluesy. Yeah, I would go the bluesy because so I'm standing um, alone look, here, am I? Yeah, I think so. Icon status plus with the bluesy, you get that. Um, it's got the sunburst blue dial. Like yeah. the dial, just the dial alone on that is worth having, I reckon. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the only Sunburst Blue um, Rolex diver that they make. Like yeah. the Smurf, the Smurf had a flat yeah. dial. True. Um, True. There's no, yeah, there's no new Smurf. Um, this, this Sunburst Blue is the is the shiz man for sure. If, if, if I'm in the Submariner category, I'd go the Bluesy. But if I'm in the Sea Dweller category, I'd have to have the Black and Gold because it's a bigger size watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it only comes in black and gold in that one anyway, so you don't have That's a choice. That's right. <laughs> I, prefer, I prefer the sub the sea dweller because of the size. But if I'm in the yeah. Submariner category, I'd go the blue. Yeah. Fair enough, James. Fair enough. I mean, I, so, I, I like the blue. I just no, like the size got, of the sea um, dweller. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're with the Rolex brand now, and we'll just move on to the next. Do we have to, Thomas? <laughs> oh, what's, what's coming next? Well, boys? the next one was my my favorite two ton I'll, Rolex. I said we're right. doing Thomas's Fair wish enough. list here, guys. If, my if, my if, favorite if, two ton if, Rolex if, is the uh, on a Jubilee bracelet. No, this it, one it, is it, freaking it. outstanding, and I, I'm actually with Thomas on this one. This, this is a stunning, a stunning watch. Yeah, this okay, is a CHNR. This the is the GMT Master, the root beer. This yeah, is lovely. it's beautiful. If yep. if I'm ever going to get a rose gold watch, it's going to be this one. Yep. Yeah, but I'd, I'd rather go if I was going if I'm going to wear the rose gold. I'd rather go the full hog and get the like what my daughter's got. I'd rather get yeah. the my daughter's got my one of my daughters got this. My other daughter's got the full rose gold. I'd rather go full, the full rose gold. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. like that's like four times the cost though. Isn't yeah, it? exactly, James. That's yeah, four times. I, price. We don't have the money. We don't have that much kind of money. So. Two tone. <laughs> Unless I can walk in and ask for a discount. Back in the day, we used to get 10% off without asking. That's uh, all gone. Long that's time all ago. gone, mate. Yeah. Yeah, look, out of the current lineup of two tone for Rolex, um, we had the we had that Daytona before, and then this one is this is the other one for me. That's yeah, way yeah, I, know, I know, I know, I yeah. know. I know that Wilson has picked one of these up recently. And congratulations, yeah. man! Congratulations yeah. to you, buddy. This yes, is Wilson, watch. congratulations, man! More power Vegas to you. Yeah. Yeah. as well. The, 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 the punters seem to really love this one, and uh, I, yeah. I, I can't uh, I can't say I I, I disagree with them. Um, cause it's, it, it's stunning. Do you, do you wear uh, how, brown? How about clothing? the, um, the original 1971, this watch first came out in 1971. Yeah. Right. The Tiger's Eye. Yeah. yeah. The 16753 is my favorite. The Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood. The Tiger's Eye. Yeah. yeah. Originally. Beautiful. But they've That's... taken away the whole beauty of that watch had the brown, that brown somber style. This one's got that the was, black. That was the beauty of That's, it, wasn't it? That, yeah. That was Here we've got beauty. a flat black. Just like looking at the Oris that we saw, I mean, the Tiger's Eye had that real element on the dial, which yeah. which really shone. You know, the, yeah, it, it, was, it was the main character of it. I think you're right, James. It was, it was the main character of the watch that sold it yeah. to me. You know, beautiful yeah, that dial. So, question for everybody: what, If you had, had the choice, the new GMT Master Two root beer. Or an original vintage version, because we know Ooh. what the reality is. Vintage, Good original question. vintage, original vintage all day long. 
I'd well, have you, to go with Thomas and the vintage as well. I'm agree. I'm going with you guys as well because if you're yeah. buying off the grey market these days, you're paying the same for a vintage as you are for a new one. I go the original 19. I would go for a 1973, my birth year, original. Yeah. 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 You want to? Yeah. Yeah. On the jubilee. Yeah, you on that, see me? yeah. No, for sure. Huh? 100. percent Like that. You get, 90, you, get 90, you get 1979, wouldn't you? 79 one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. That Box that style papers. on on that watch. Look, generally, I'm I'm not a massive fan of that watch. Um, like just overall, but with the dial though, when it, when it's got that mm -hmm. that that beautiful dial, um, it yeah. just makes the whole thing. It's just so different. It's really yeah. cool. It's on it would, jubilee yeah. too. It's on a jubilee bracelet. The um. You were yeah, correct. Yeah. Correct. The original yeah. one. Yep. Uh, if you had to follow up the bluesy with a watch, Thomas, you, you did well picking this one because it's yeah. It's well, a the, stunner. The, the next one was one that just really sort of brought the brought this topic to my attention yeah. because it was the the one that shocked us all this year right. by Rolex by being released by Rolex, and uh, it's the Explorer. The uh, uh, Explorer two tone. So if you scroll down, you can see there the Explorer 36. This is eight thousand seven hundred pounds. This one, oh, 15, yellow, ye yellow gold and uh, steel. Uh, I have one word for this. Why? Yeah, exactly. Look, my my, th my thoughts as well. Why? Really, why for the for the Asian market and the. And the the women out there, I think it's two I two reasons. Guys. I think this why did they get rid of the thirty nine, and why did oh, yeah, they bring I agree. it That's up? That, that though, but I think this thirty six mil two tone gold is going to be a top seller for females. And yeah. if you yeah. only have to look at Instagram yeah. and look at everybody else, it is selling like a hot cake. Yeah, I'm Absolutely. sure it is. Yeah, if I'm sure. Forget, if you forget that this is called the Explorer, Explorer. if right. you forget, you know the whole. But women who are buying it yep. don't care. Isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to say. Like, if you just look at this objectively as an object, this is cool. This is a cool design. Yeah, a hundred percent. Neo, I was just going to say the same thing, man. Like, I've I've totally come around to this watch. Um, at first, when it came out, I was like, blue shirt. Like, why, why, why? But then, looking at it in isolation, just as an object, just as a piece, um, I reckon it's cool. Uh, it's cool as hell. I reckon beautiful it's piece. More like looking yeah. at an OP, really, isn't it? Nice to fetch. It is. It's, yeah. it's, uh, you can, that's why I can see it for the women liking it. You, you, know, you, you guys forget that we are watch enthusiasts, we are collectors, we love the hobby, we we read, we, we live, we sleep, we dream watches. But you know what? Rolex don't make watches for us anymore. No, Rolex they don't. They're yeah. a commercial entity that build watches to sell to the public. Um, yeah. And that's they're not, they're not, they're not, they don't care what we think as enthusiasts or collectors or, yeah. or people who talk about watches non stop. They are trying to commercially sell watches. And this watch yeah. is what I, is a beautiful watch that's going to suit a female demographic. And yeah. it's, yeah. it's a stunner. Yeah. It is. Hey yeah. guys, on that note, I'm going to have to run. Uh, All right. Catch... Thank you for joining us, yeah, JCB. Thanks really you, nice you, you, mate. Nah, thanks, guys. Anytime. Hey, mate, um, you I'll catch up with you guys soon. Mate, Take care. Yeah, thanks, and, guys. Uh, just to say to Mason one, no, I'm afraid the, the Glasses Original CQ by Color isn't coming. We've got one more watch, and then that's yeah, there's the one end more. Of it. Yeah, we've got to wrap it up. We're already we're wrap we're it almost, up. We're almost two, uh, two and a half hours in. So Yeah, uh, so. We'll. Uh, we've got, we got one more watch, which is the Richard Mille RM2101, oh. which was released on the 22nd of April, I believe. And I love this watch. This Not is a, a limited edition of 50. It's red gold and carbon. And it's got a push button on the center of the crown to help select the winding, neutral, and hand setting functions with a single push. And the hand on the four o'clock indicates the selected function release on the, and uh, it, it's just bonkers. It's, I it's, love it. I love it. It costs <laughs> six hundred and thirty-two thousand pounds. Oh, is that all? Yeah, but it, I love it. It's bonkers. It's, if, if it, all it, it's very, very it's, different. It's, right, it's, a manu it's a manual wine, Torbian Aerodyne. So wow. it's, uh, it's just, it's just amazing. Uh, I, I've seen a lot worse 
Richard Mill than this one. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, I'd have to admit, even though I'm not the biggest R Richard Mill fan, but this is this is interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just can't get my head around um, RMs. I'm sorry. I think RMs are for posers and guys who just don't know anything about watches. I think oh. that this is a this is a real oh, this is a bit of horology though. I think this this is a bit of this is something else. This is if, uh, if all if all watches cost a dollar, I would definitely own this. It's cool. Yeah, me me too. Yeah, uh, I'd have to say I, I agree with you, Neo. If this if all watches cost a dollar, I'd wear I would wear this. Yeah, it just, it's, I, I just find it fascinating. I mean, I've been reading it's up different. on it. It's different. It's different. It is different. Yeah, with the carbon, which is indestructible stuff, and then the, yeah. uh, the rose gold, the red gold. I just think it's uh, fascinating. 70 hour powers of manual wind. Um, Torbian in, Torbian at the bottom. Just fascinating. Yeah. So that was our roundup, guys. I mean, we've got to thank everyone, thank all our guests, thank James Arthur, uh, Neo, uh, NS something, JCB, and don't forget, check out their check out JCB stream on a Tuesday. Uh, the whole the whole the whole take with JCB on a Tuesday. If you can hop over to his channel and subscribe, I'm sure he'll be very grateful for that. You can catch her James on there with ID Guy. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, what more can we say? Thomas, yes, thanks, I did, thanks I for did. joining us. Thomas, if you ever uh, win the lottery and you want to buy me a gold watch, please have <laughs> someone else pick it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it. I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah, okay then. I've got that. <laughs> I bought my I bought a lottery ticket tonight anyway, so I got to go and check well, the numbers go. downstairs. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I didn't even notice that uh, that James had had uh, had had dropped off he, there. He's so. for the RM, and he's like, and he ran for the hills. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Well, listen, uh, yes, thank you. a big thank you to James, a very big thank you to uh, JCB. Um, man, we were spanning. We were The show went literally around the world from, from England to North America to Australia and um, then into Asia. So um, uh, it was a really good one. Uh, Thomas, you did the yeoman's work, as always. Um Thank you to uh, to James uh, for joining us. Thank you to JCB. Um, please check out his channel. Um, it's early Tuesday mornings here on the East Coast in the States, but it's, it's well worth getting up early. Uh, it's a, he's usually on about 7 a.m. Him and ID Guy and, and James. Um, and, and of uh, course. Of course, don't forget to check out ID Guy next Saturday. We'll be taking a break for a fortnight, so uh, yes, yeah. yes, bear that in mind, guys. That we will be only broadcasting when ID Guy is not um, on Saturdays, um, 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time and 10 p.m. GMT. So when there is no ID Guy, then we'll uh, we'll we'll be broadcasting. Um, NS did another great job. Um, Neo, thank you, my friend, for joining us. You, you were great. Um, Thomas, you're always wonderful. And thank you to everybody in the chat. Um, you know, uh, we, we wouldn't yeah, be doing this without, without all you guys. So we appreciate all the support. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you in two weeks. All right. Yeah, we'll do, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, Look after yourselves. By what do you actually like? There you go. All right. Later, fellas. Later. Take care, everyone.